What's up, everybody? Welcome to Table Story Zero Blue Orion. Welcome to the show, everyone. How's everybody doing today? Good. Good. Doing great. Is everybody yeah. ready to continue your anime AF pursuits? Oh, yes. <laughs> Very much so. You excited? Yeah. Always. It's okay, PB. Ready. You can be excited. It's fine. Yeah, I, I, yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited myself. Uh, we have gotten ourselves up to license level one for the players, and they've started their their journey. They've started their journey to choosing some dope ass mechs and planning all kinds of weird stuff for the show. I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready for it. And um, I just want to hop into it. Let's go around the room. Let's do some introductions. Let's get our players introduced in their characters. And let's make some magic happen. Shall we? Brad, yeah. would you be so kind as to start the magic? Top of the morning to you, laddies. Oh, no, this is a different show. Um, I'm just so used to saying that on a Monday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Hello, it's me, Brad. I'm playing... Wyatt Slate, aka Boom Slang. And um, yeah, I mean, I blew up my mech last week, so I don't understand how we carry on since my character died. Um, I had to make a new one. I'm kidding. I was a little concerned because I was I was messaging people like this was this is a VR simulation, right? And they were like, who knows? Good luck. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from today, but I'm excited to play it and, um, you know, continue to slowly turn um, Colo's character to the dark side so that we are revealed later on to be the true enemies all along. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Terrible influence. <laughs> Everyone does, trust me. It's... You know, I'm I'm famed for being loved for my terrible influence. <laughs> <laughs> somehow he somehow works. You know how like Mr. Burns on The Simpsons just has like every disease known to man, so he can't get affected by anything else. Brad's kind of like that with toxicity. Somehow yeah. he's just overwhelmed everybody with so much toxicity that we've all just accepted it and it's it's funny now. Someone like Wax gonna go to jail one day for like murder but i'll get blamed for it you know like, <laughs> <laughs> what spoilers <laughs> spoilers everyone all right well until uh until whack um does go to jail i'll be here boom slang your boy your bookie oh my god Thank you. I, the PB reacts like that, and then I'm like, "What have I done wrong?" Like, I, I, <laughs> I don't think PB has ever seen me say anything actually it's bad. Just, <laughs> it's just awkward, okay? It was just socially awkward, and I was Why? awkwardness. Why was that socially awkward? What if he does go to jail for something, and I get blamed for it? It was. You know? I don't know. It's All like. Right. It's like it's All right. Like, whatever you say. I'm going to get a psychological complex one day because of PB's reactions to me. Oh, oh, okay, Karen. Calm down. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to shut up now. Who's next? Well, heck, I think you're muted. <laughs> I'm still muted. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck. I'll take the no, blame. No. I'll take the Fuck. blame. It's fine. It was me. It was so it. great the devastation that PB just wrought upon Brad. Somebody I hope was clipping that. What was this devastation? Oh it was nothing. It was nothing. Fine. It was fine. Just Jim play PB it off. Uh, have never ever roasted each other for anything. Never. You know, it's just nothing but compliments. That's what we do. Fist. Hi. How's it going? My turn. Yes. All right. Hi, I'm Fist of the Walrus. <laughs> I play Stu Flanagan, formerly known as Flancake, and now known as Rash Man, because that's how I'm famous. <laughs> I am known for curing rashes. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a bad contract or something, so now it's your face on the on the tube. It was mm -hmm. too big 
to let that it was the it was my breakthrough it just happened to be with <laughs> rash ointment so i'm like the poster child of <laughs> rash relief <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the, the that's the high point of my character and um <laughs> it's funny because phoebe's character effie was trying to guess flan cakes or er, flanagan's name and then his name just got said anyways during the simulation so that's all over <laughs> can't play that game anymore <laughs> so yeah i play a c-list celebrity who's best known for curing rashes that's that's where we're going with this I like oh. that's the direction that we've taken. I like it. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's like where the wind blows is where Flanagan's going to go. <laughs> uh, thank uh. you, Fist. Thank you. Uh, Kolo, introduce yourself and your character, please. You I'm Kolo. There you are. I'm here. Hi. Uh, I am a variety streamer. I love space and open world adventure nonsense and stories. And uh, yes, hi. Um, this is the first time I've done anything like this. Uh, so it's very exciting. And uh, yeah, I am uh, also a Lisa Sharp, uh, age 900. Um, and she's uh, short which is apparently uh, a point of conversation for many people. I'm looking at you, Brad. Um, and uh, yes, uh, I don't know what else to say. Is that, is that accepted? But also, uh, I don't appreciate being um, blown up again. I'm uh, looking at you, Brad. Yeah, technically, brief. it was the enemies that blew you up. I don't think that's a true fact. I'm blaming you. It's your fault. Blame Brad. <laughs> I can't remember. You've already understood the table story <laughs> dynamic. That's we. I, there's a hashtag where it's just blame Brad. Yeah. Um, if you guys would like to Great. show your support for the table story dynamic right now, I'd like some hashtag blame Brad's in the chat, please. Can... The hashtag works in the same way as the fences do at a zoo, where they're like, don't go and feed the animal. Just imagine there's a big, horrible wrought iron fence around me. <laughs> <laughs> and we can easily climb, climb over. <laughs> Sorry. But Thank that's you. your like you choice. Do, it's yeah. your choice and it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> You're the dumbass that climbed yeah. over the fence. The signs have been posted. Brad's People gonna know. Yeah. you. Oh, God. Thank you, Colo. Uh, Myth. Hi. Uh, super happy to be here. My name's Myth, Mythomatic. Uh, really excited to be telling some more stories. Here on Table Story, I'll be playing uh, Luca Ludimir. Uh, he's, uh, last week, he grappled a tank and then and then also banana peeled its cannon with his, like, mechanical mining pick. He was badass. I am really excited to keep playing him uh, and to uh, see where, uh, what story we can weave with Luca. So, yeah. Thanks. Thank you so much. PB? Excitement oh. level. Yes, over 9,000. Hi, I'm PB, and I'm really excited to be here. I play um, Effie, a.k.a. Geist, and I think that's all we really know other than she's just as excited as I am, because let's be real, I could not play a character that did not have excitement level over 9,000. I couldn't do it, at least not for this show. PB is holding back so hard right now. Yeah, I, yeah. See her, I see her, like, wiggling a little bit. She's a little wiggly. You know, she's just a little wiggly. Um, so she's holding back tremendously right now. Unleash, Peavy. Unleash. <laughs> Unleash the excitement. <laughs> there is no compressor that can contain the excitement. Um, <laughs> but, but it's going to try. The GoXLR. The GoXLR Go is going to try. It's going to try. That's, that's a serious advertisement for the GoXLR. Can you contain yeah, it's true, actually. Peavy's excitement? Uh, I'm Wax Steven, and I will be the GM of Doom. I'll be dragging the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Um, thank you guys for joining us for more Lancer RPG mecha anime AF excitement. Um, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, let's do this. Let's get going into this. Um, let's make it happen. We have some stuff. We have some mechanical things to do. Uh, with the system to start off before we get into the story. I figured let's do that before we sort of get into character. I think that'll be a little bit easier for everybody to process. Um, that sounds good. Also, while we're doing that, please retweet the stream. Yes, please do. <laughs> that would be awesome. Thank you. Um, we have, uh, there's things called invocations in this system. Invocations. And what they are 
um, there are two positives and two negatives about your character. And it's sort of a collaborative process as to um, the way that everybody sees each other and the way that you see yourself. And you guys get to take advantage of uh, the positives for your character, and I get to take advantage of the negatives and give ah. you difficulties on your roles. So, cool. Cool. Um, when you guys feel like you have an invocation that applies to a situation, you can be like, oh, oh, I have this thing. I have this invocation. And I'll say, yeah, that makes sense for this situation. You get an accuracy. So um, you get to add an accuracy to a roll. If you're like um, in a situation and I'm looking at your character sheet and I'm like, mm, you've got this, this thing in your invocations that's bad, uh, you get a difficulty for this roll. Um, because you're not the smartest. Your character is not the smartest, or your character is super charming, etc. Um, and we're going to do this as a group. So uh, I'd love to see chat's reaction to things, too. We'd love to get chat's uh, opinions on these invocations as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with somebody, and we're going to think about two things that are good about the character, just sort of general things. It could be really anything. Um, and two bad things about the character. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll add those to your invocations on your character sheet. It's on the pilot page of your character sheets uh, down at the bottom left. Does anybody want to go first? We all get to decide together as a yeah, group, right? Yeah, we get to decide together as a group. Me. I volunteer as tribute. Okay. So let's start with Geist. Uh, good things or bad things about Geist? She looks like she's from Digimon. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? I think it's a good thing. <laughs> Mine was great. <laughs> looks like she's. I don't know how you can ever use that, but that's my first one. That's my contribution. Maybe, I'm gonna just maybe upbeat myself. positivity. Maybe yeah, for, there yeah, we go. Yeah, Bring yeah. On the bright side of life. There you go. Belief that it's gonna succeed. Hype over nine thousand. Look on the bright side. Well, of we're life. talking about Geist, not Ooh. not necessarily yeah. Pumpkinberry here. <laughs> well, that is how I was playing Geist because okay. I don't think I can separate the two. Excitable. In <laughs> Shall we say excitable? Yeah. That'll Un work. Unbreakable okay. positivity. <laughs> Unbreakable positivity. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Unbreakable. That's better. No matter, no matter. I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. Unbreakable sure positivity. Guys, the unbreakable. Okay. <laughs> unbreakable <laughs> positivity. God, you just changed it on my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's so much better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, another good thing. We need two bad things. And this is just what we've learned about the character. It could really be anything. These will change uh, every session. Think is it maybe possible? Gullibility, maybe? Yeah, that would probably work. What was that? Gullibility. Gullibility? Sure. I'm super gullible, yeah. Oh. I also was playing her as not the brightest bulb, so we could go with that. Not the brightest bulb. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think I recognize you. Wait, no, I don't. Okay. And, but also, uh, like, that's honest. Yeah. Well, I'm, <laughs> like, I mean, Flan Flanagan, it wasn't exactly like a very memorable person. He, he like could have had his face on a couple of billboards, so you can't really blame her. <laughs> <laughs> we got one so more I good thing. I mean, I had excellent aim. Yeah, yeah. Mark? I mean, there. Yeah. Okay. I would say oh, yeah, marksman. Like, yeah. Accurate? Knives. Yeah. Accurate. Snipes. Can we do marksman instead? Sure. Whatever you want. That's, that sounds way cooler than knives. accurate. What That's are these all. used for? These are used when you in yeah in when uh the positive use one you... of those in an example. Okay. Uh situation is um in a conversation. Uh, nah. that she's having. She's trying to charm somebody. And you say, well, I'm unbreakably positive um, <laughs> in this situation. And even though they're being like super dour or something, you're able to cheer them up and, you know, win them over. So you'd get an invocation 
uh, which would be an accuracy. Now you guys might notice I've 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 changed the accuracy and difficulty buttons. I was getting some help from the wonderful people over at um, uh, PilotNet, the PilotNet Discord, um, which we have a command for now. I added that yesterday from uh, Arcugio. Got that added that yesterday. Um, these are the yeah, wonderful, the super <laughs> knowledgeable people uh, over at Lancer who are gonna berate me for doing so many things wrong. Uh, throughout the show today, uh, but they're they're super great and very knowledgeable. Um, go check them out, and um, yeah, they're they're gonna they're gonna help us out. Hopefully, um, the yeah. So you'd you'd get to they they help me with the uh, accuracy and difficulty buttons. So when you click an accuracy now, it will do the whole roll for you. So if you do like a one accuracy. Which you would get in that situation. Of course, I rolled a natural 20 to start the show off. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> yeah, get it out now. You are the GM apples. of Doom, after all. Yes, yes. Just staying true to your name. Yeah. You just keep rolling those 20s out to, you know, make it easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give one now. <laughs> we will never stop rolling natural 20s. That's, uh, that's what so, it does. So that's, that's what that is. Uh, you'd, get, you'd get an accuracy for that for that situation so on a you crit it and you you know you you rolled super well so that would be like a pass on a negative she's super gullible so she could just be lied to and i and i would invoke that i'd say well you're pretty gullible so go ahead and make your your grit roll here and you would roll your grit and it would be with the difficulty Actually, I think I have to change the button now that I think about it. It's not taking the grit into consideration. Perfect. Yeah, good. So we're gonna have to mine plus or we're gonna have to plus one on all those rolls. Um, I'll have to edit the buttons while we're while we're doing the show today. But anyway, um, you got yourself a, uh, a a positive outcome there. And then in a, with an invocation that's bad, you do a difficulty roll. So you just hit the difficulty button, and that's a seven because that's a minus 1d6 instead of a plus 1d6. That's how invocations work. Okay. Pretty simple. Um, <laughs> he said not retaining a word, Wax I had no idea what you said. <laughs> I just don't think I understand the, uh, the difference between those and the triggers is all. They just seem to be really similar. Triggers are plus one, plus two. Or, or plus two, plus four, or plus six. Those are... The max that you can do. Remain. Invocations are rolls, basically. A, pl a plus 1d6. Uh, You're rolling an extra d6. or It's a plus 1d6 or a minus 1d6. Okay, I do understand now. Uh, I don't. I have no idea. I'm kidding. I do. Who wants to go next? I can. I can go. Okay. Am I good? Colo. <clears throat> well, um, I think a negative, <clears throat> excuse me, is probably she's quite a, a vol volatile, volatile like easily wound up maybe like responds it. a little bit too fiery quickly maybe i hope i don't pick that character to pick on for being short wow can we list that as the other negative being super short <laughs> <laughs> no? wow wow body so shaming be a positive Body Savage, shaming. ableist, pumpkin berry. Appreciate <laughs> wow. your support, baby. Thanks. You. <laughs> right. Wow. Not just the character, you know, affirmation, but also the real life Kylo. I love you. I'm short too. I how about say, I love you. What, what about? I think I'm shorter than how you. About my best friend. How, 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 what about unquenchable <laughs> curiosity? How, how about, about you monster? short and then petite? How about that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so what about what about? Uh, Target. Worked at Target. Target. In what way? Easy you to target. the target. I mean, everybody's been targeting you. <laughs> the bull oh, guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Easy target? Easy target. Oh, there we go. I think that might be bordering on rude. I don't Easy know. target. <laughs> Easy target. Just the dynamics. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Help. Help. Rip. Rip. Chat. Help. Help. Send. 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 Help. Now we need two positive things about 8900. Uh, tenacious. It's the first thing that comes to mind about her character. And curiosity. I mean, she's been studying everything. I mean, so unquenchable yep. curiosity, where like she. Might get an advantage at investigating stuff. Okay. 
curious. All right. Who wants to go next? Rashman. I will go next then. You have been volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing about Flanagan, uh, I already have blissful ignorance as one of my triggers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I think, <laughs> but I think, I think I it's know. like, uh, I think believing in himself is a really big thing for Flanagan now, now that he's progressed towards that. So, like to the uh, point of detriment. To the point, yeah. It's, like, it's almost, oh, I can't. That's, that's never mind. I was I gonna make a Game of Thrones it. joke, and that was bad, bad form. <clears throat> Unshakable ego. The best part is you don't have to it's joke. It's me. I'm Flanagan. I can't lose. <laughs> Unshakable <laughs> ego. That'll be a positive. Unshakable ego. But also, maybe that belief can kind of also be a, like a, de a detriment. Like, yes, I believe. Let's go. Let's go. Right, yeah, exactly. Like, we we can do it. We don't need to no, come like up with a plan. It's fine. Overconfident. Out. Yeah. yeah. Confident to a fault. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Can we have spandex as an invocation? Yeah. <laughs> like. Positive. Yes. It's can. I think we, I think like we have to now. I can do spandex. Well, <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's no context. It's just spandex. Uh, okay. Uh, extreme light. Uh. <laughs> Streamlined. Aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. <laughs> Clipstream. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there is no friction in these pants. <laughs> Frictionless. Literally, it's going to be the most used invocation ever. But, but I have spandex, so I, I can spandex slide through here. It's not yeah, a problem. I might be going nuclear, but I have spandex. Teachable <laughs> <laughs> for every occasion. Can my I'm mech frictionless. Have I have every occasion. <laughs> can my mech be printed with spandex pants? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but they're your size, so they just tear instantly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do a little flap in the back. Yeah, it's the spandex. I'm here to pick up my mech, and I brought the spandex. Uh, you need another run, negative run thing. With spandex, please. <sighs> One more negative thing. Oh, spandex. um. Um, he's he's a heart like he, he learns slow like you'd think that learning the hard way would be like you know oh i shouldn't do that anymore like it's almost like borderline insane where it's like yeah i shouldn't do that anymore but i'm gonna do it again because i'm flanagan <laughs> or it's just last time work. was just a fluke face meat yeah. wall <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good Ugh. face meat wall okay who's going next I will go. Okay. Boom slang. Two good things, two I'm bad things. I just said the words, I will go. And I'm going to rely on everyone else to fill it out for me. Stubborn? Stoic. Stoic. Maybe, maybe, like, maybe Stoic like anime way. stoicism. Where yeah. It's just... yeah, where it's like impossible to get to know this character. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but unintentionally stoic. Actually, an unintentional stoic. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put premature explosion on there. <laughs> hey, you said this was about the character. Not about Come on, dude. Oh, like that? Oh. What about smoker? Coffee. I was just gonna say, what? What about like lower lung capacity? Because you're huge. <laughs> yeah, but he's yeah. just he's his Change body has room. just been uh, been right. essentially yeah. he's gone through the truth. <sighs> so he's clean. He's got new lungs. He's oh, fresh. Yeah. And he, oh, he does that by like immediately room. chain smoking. Uh, I right. work in terms of absence as well. Like he's so keen to go smoke that it's like it's the uh, time addicted out of it. Yeah, yeah, addicted for sure. Yeah. Addicted. Okay, addicted. two positives. Um, um yeah, we'll just leave this. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, right? Uh, I don't know. You're pretty confident. You were uh, like, see. I've done this before. I'm the best pilot. Yeah, but was it real confidence? Nice. I think there's like a calmness about him too. Wyatt is just incredibly calm. Like even when his mech was exploding, he was like, "Me, <laughs> whatever." Is like maybe level-headed situations, or you could do like some something that applies to that. Works good under pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Good under that. pressure. He's just unfazed by. He's like, "Me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> unfazable, phase up." 
Yeah, so we've got unbreakable, unfaceable. What was yours? Wait, yes. unbreakable? We're adding Wait, unbreakable? Was... No, no, sorry. I just meant between the group for, of us. For all of us. Unbreakable. Yeah. We unbreakable. have a name like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I think it's, uh, one more good thing. So what have we added for him so unfazable, far? Unfazable, stoic, and addicted. Okay. Uh, stoic we, was a negative. Can neg we do experience? Stoic or? is a negative? Yeah. yeah. What if stoic is in a plus and stoic is in a negative? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it done. Okay. Yeah. Anime stoicism. Anime stoicism. And these change? Do they change? They're they change every every, week every episode. Yeah. Oh. And we choose. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. Mm. So it's like in masks. Yep. Sort of. Just yeah. Like okay. It, yeah. Neat. It's kind of an end of session or beginning of session mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Uh. Red panda. Ah. Two good things, uh, two bad things. Two good things and two bad things. Um, absolute unit. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> just be the Burke absolute, yeah, absolute unit for sure. I agree <laughs> with that. Absolute. I am behind. I just that. this because I'm an absolute unit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he tries to grapple you, but you're like an absolute unit. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, these are pilot invocations. They're not mech invocations. He's still big, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, he could uh, that in out of his suit. Yeah. He he was just eating everything in the cafeteria. I mean, uh, he's a big <gasps> Iron uh, stomach. Iron, iron stomach. Iron. I like that. Yeah. Unpoisonable. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have eaten every food known to man. Just <laughs> great. No hey, nut you allergy. <laughs> no nut allergy. Add that. Add nut allergy to a minus invocation and we find out today. Okay, two minuses. Uh, mind of muscle, where it's like he only thinks yeah. about like mm -hmm. j just strength. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I, I, yep, that, that, is my, that makes sense. Mind, mind of muscle. muscle. Last one. So we. Uh... Are we doing a weakness or a strength? One, yeah, one more weakness. There's a weakness. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. I was going to say kindness for a strength because he, he stuck up for 8900. We've Last got absolute strength. unit and iron stomach. Which one would you like to <laughs> sacrifice? <laughs> no, no, I think both. True. Uh, absolute <laughs> unit is actually on there. Yeah, uh, absolute think, unit is perfect. Yeah, but, I think so too. <laughs> I don't know anybody ever use absolute unit. I would use it all the time. <laughs> that man is an absolute unit. I would Gosh. fight him. Uh, yeah, honestly, Luke is an absolute unit in this in this here. So um, I, we might have to rely on your secret character knowledge for this because I don't think I saw any really weaknesses or flaws come out right away in the last episode yeah so. you're right let me let me delve into the into yeah. the secrets of my brain no iron stomach is a positive yeah fist. oh yeah no absolutely yeah insatiable um, hunger yeah, the only thing that we've witnessed so far <laughs> always is you... hungry i'd say kindness Probably. instead of absolute yeah. unit i feel like it'll be easier but it's only for the episode all right um yeah it's, it's fine it's not a big deal don't overthink it. Do we have overconfident already? You have you have it? No. Um, I'm sure both you? of us can, or two people can have the same thing, right? Absolutely. Doesn't matter. Overconfident? You want to use that? Yeah. yeah okay. Let's do it. Alrighty. Cool. Cool. That's done. We are set to go. We are set to go. All right. So, <laughs> let's... What the hell was that? That was a clip, Brad. That's what that was. <laughs> that was a clip. <laughs> That's what so we, that is being added to our soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please make a clip of that and make a clip of the earth. We've had several clips already. I hope you guys are making some clips of these. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's do the anime voiceover Give intro control. thingy. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the anime intro voiceover thingy. Here we go. Let's play that and let's hop into the game. Let's do it. The year is 5016U. After many failures, humanity has reached new heights. Union is responsible for all of it. 
It is the tyrant, the watcher, and the guiding hand. The third committee watches over humanity, but is stretched thin. Threats loom from the Aun ascendancy, overreaching corporal states, remnants of the second committee, and other unknown dangers. Union scrambles to cope with the vast size of the hegemony and these threats by relying on unorthodox means. Alrighty, everyone. Last week on Zero Blue Orion, the group was sort of able to spend some time with each other. They were able to uh, get to know each other. They are test subjects uh, in a part of the Union Science Bureau. Um, uh, and they are being examined and uh, tested by an individual named Dr. Prism and uh, the Union Science Bureau. Um, Dr. Prism has two assistants, uh, Polly and Kaz, who uh, assist with various experiments and things, but the players' characters had never really met each other before. They got the opportunity to meet um, and actually talk with each other on the first episode. They spent some time in the cafeteria uh, as they just got out of their, their tubes, um, where they found themselves feeling fantastic. All of their aches and pains just from sort of growing older um, had gone away. They felt like new people. Um, they had experienced, um, a sort of reawakening and genesis, a, a new a genesis. Um, and, um, they had found out that they received Lancer licenses, which are, like, only given to the best of the best pilots. Um, people with extraordinary abilities. And... They got the opportunity to sort of do some mech combat in a simulator. It didn't go super well for them, however. They were struggling a little bit as they got themselves acclimated to the mechs. Speak um, for yourself. <laughs> well, losing about half your team in the process of completing a mission is not the best situation. It's something that you usually want to try to avoid. Um, while they were in the simulator, they went up against a the hard simulation, a, a Goliath and two Bombard uh, artillery tanks that they, that they fought against. Um, it was not the best situation uh, because Boomslang and 8900 were hit and attacked pretty early on. They took a fair amount of damage, and Boomslang took it upon himself to self-destruct. Single-handedly win the fight. <laughs> self-destruct, blow up his mech, and in the process, destroy 8900's mech as well. She got out of her mech and tried to assist on foot while climbing up Geist's mech and was vaporized into a, a small meaty chunks. It was gross. It was bad. But <laughs> they did manage to destroy the rest of the mechs and complete the mission, gaining themselves license level one. Uh, Boomslang sort of uh, stormed off with 8900 in tow, uh, bumming a uh, cigarette as uh, they walked off. Um, we're going to start today's session with uh, the rest of you uh, finishing up the simulation. The chambers of your simulators open up, a sort of uh, half cockpit uh, kind of situation, and um, you're all exposed to light. So Geist, Red Panda, and Rashman... Um, you get out of your simulators. Um, let's go over to the mech hangar here. Oops. And, uh, whoa, why did that happen? Let's fix that. 
um, you guys get out of the simulator and um, Polly's waiting there um, and she's kind of looking at you with a worried expression on her face. Um, so that could have gone a little bit better, I think. Yeah, if you had like a little more powerful wind uh, window wipers, because I didn't get like all of, uh, at least off my mech, it was kind of hard to see after she exploded. Yeah, is she okay? Yeah, oh, also, is she all right? And where's Wyatt? Is he all right? Oh, yeah, they're okay. Um, it's not like one of those die in there, die in real life situations, right? I hope not. No, it's just a simulator. It's for training. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Yeah, I was worried for a second. Yeah, okay. that would have been really bleak if like two of us already died in a simulation. So I didn't actually destroy a tank? No, no, Luca, you, no, don't put yourself down. You, you did take down a tank in the simulation world, which is impressive. You, you, very you, impressive. You did see it, yeah? Yes, yeah, I saw it, amazing. I saw it. Yeah, you split. I, I think you did pretty well. Um, yeah, I thought you said that was going to be hard. Yes. Well, I mean, you did lose two members of your team. But we eliminated the other yeah, you gotta break a few omelets to make an egg, you know what they say. Right, okay, um... So? So, um... Why do I really? get the bad feeling that we did something wrong? It's like yeah. when you get pulled into the, like when the teacher like pulls you like after class and it's like, well, you know how you said you're gonna work extra hard and you're gonna put the studying into it. It's just not working. Why are you giving us that look right now? That never we're happened. Our hardest. Yeah, we no. did a great job. Yeah, it was. Aside from the you know, it was your first time. I, I mean, there's there's room for growth for sure. Oh God! You just, you just, just give it to us. All right. I've you taken know, a lot of negativity. I mean, I'm an actor. I'm good at rejection. Just lay it on. Lay it on thick. Okay. So if I had to grade um, you guys, no, not, not too thick, please. A, 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 <laughs> I mean, I, I'd probably give you like a, a well, like grade a, us individually. Individually? Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, how am I uh, supposed to know how well I did if you just give us an overall sure. grade? Sure. You say um, the best for last. Mm, I step yeah. back. Okay. So <laughs> I, I would say that. I, I, I um, step a little further back. <laughs> I don't move. <laughs> so, um, okay. Individually. Okay. So I'd say, um, guys, I think that you did a good job of um, using what you're good at. Um, you stayed back and you uh. shot your big weapon. That was good. Um, you should take advantage of your surroundings maybe a little bit more. Um, okay. maybe try and get some high ground. Okay. High there ground, I can do that. I was jumping though. I was really high. Yeah. You, you had, you, but you had the low ground. I mean, you were grappling a tank. It's, it's low, it's low ground, which is good. I mean, you had, but I was jumping rather high though. Yeah. Well, you did jump, but then you were like doing most of your combat on the ground. So it's yeah. technically low ground. Yeah, also, it's what is that, that pick that you had? Do you have that in real life? No, he's right there. As I kind of like point towards the, uh, towards the screen and maybe a sort of like the replay of the simulation. That? Yeah. It came yeah. with the mech. I don't have it. Oh, it's amazing. No, I yeah. mean, we're, yeah. we're getting your mechs all outfitted um, like you guys wanted to have them, you know, set up. All the loadouts are being set up, just like you guys asked for. They're well, actually being printed up. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Yeah, so it'll be great. Um, you probably should do a few more simulations, though, first. So that why? you what? don't die. So, so what's are great? I mean, we didn't die. We, we were the ones right, that survived. Right. So you want, like, a personal grade or a team grade? Uh, let's do like oh. a personal grade, then like an overall grade. You know how like when like the entire class bombs a test and like you go ahead and the teacher's like, okay, well, I can't fail every- Bomb curve. 
right? Yeah, like a little curve, little curve. That's, curve. How I, that's how I got through high school. Maybe. I just happened to be, I always took honors classes. And then when I failed everything, the curve is usually what brought me up because teachers didn't want somebody failing in their class. That's very smart. Yeah. I don't think that's how it works. Uh, yes, it is. That is exactly how it works. It's like a group project. I'm just the one who doesn't do anything. But but can it be? Can it be how it works? Just this one time. Okay, so, um, guys, I would say I'd give you a B plus. Wow. It's good. That's amazing. A B plus. B plus, yeah. Okay. Uh, I like the plus part. Okay. And, um, let's see, uh, Red Panda, um, uh, I, I would say you save probably the got- Save the best for last. He, he is saving. Obviously, the best is last. I'm, I'm behind you. Okay. Um, uh, uh, so, right, if that's right. the case, Rash Man. Um, what? Uh, uh, what? What do you mean? What, you were what? a little bit, uh, well, you were having some difficulties finding the right buttons to push and things, which is, it's understandable. I mean, it was your first time doing it. Um, I would say you probably got a C minus. What? A C minus? Okay, I'll take that. That's actually like one of the best grades I've gotten. I'll take Good it. Good job. I go yeah, to high five. I'm a C minus. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is without the curve. And and well, uh, Red Panda, uh, I would say you got a, a B plus as well. Uh, uh, uh. So you you did well. Um. So um, Boomslang and and eighty nine hundred. Um, they they left uh, after. They got blown up and That's splattered. Probably um, pretty embarrassing. So yeah, I, I can see why. I, I would say that the um, well, it could have gone better. Uh, could have gone better. Um, the the team grade overall is probably uh like a like a C minus. I'd say. And and what kind of grade do we need before you'll deploy us into real action? Uh. Um, well, as a team, I'd say you you want to get an A. Okay, we can so do how, that. So how far down can you drop this curve so we get an A? Let's say, like, There's you no drop curve. the curve down and my C is like a B now. No. Would that make theirs an A+. Plus? There's no curve. What the heck, what kind of teacher are you? I'm not a teacher. I'm just okay, trying to well, help. Maybe, maybe I'm just thinking about this wrong. But I mean, you got to admit, I didn't miss a single time. I have a hundred percent accuracy every time I got. Wow! Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's because your real. weapon is just fires so Rash man doesn't much. miss. Uh, heat. Ra Rash man doesn't miss. It, I, I hundred percent accuracy. I think. Just like in the commercial. Yes, just like the commercial. Right. <laughs> itches with a hundred percent itch relief accuracy. Yeah, I'm remembering now. All right, well, grade me how you will. I mean, if we need to run more simulations, that's fine. But I'm not going to miss a single right. one. Right. Gonna... Right. Simulation! I'm ready. Oh, no. You you guys are probably going to need a break. You're going to start to feel the effects of uh, the testing and stuff very soon. What does soon. that mean? What? What? Were you testing on us like while we were doing that? No, 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 no. Well, you, there's you a little bit of my pee? Uh, no. There's there's a little bit of um, well, there's some residual exhaustion that's gonna come about from being in the tubes. Uh, oh, especially from being in the fine. simulator, you're I, gonna. I feel fine too. Yeah, it's gonna start to take over soon, and it, it'd probably be a bad idea to put you in the simulator before then. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, whatever you say. We, uh, so now what? What do we do? Is there like a break hall, a mess hall, like something we can do? Yeah, right, yeah, I you were in hall. the mess hall before. Um, there's not really a lot of stuff to do here. It's mainly a lot of work and things. Um, I can take you over to the barracks. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Sure. Is it is a mess hall along the way? <laughs> Are you hungry already? <laughs> yeah. No. Well, okay. I mean, sure. Is everybody hungry? I mean, yeah, I could I could eat. Yeah. Okay, and you guys walk 
You guys walk off to the mess hall. Uh, Boomslang and 8900. You guys walked off to have a cigarette break, essentially, after th after things. So you, you've uh, headed out towards your uh, familiar exit there, uh, Boomslang. You run into Charlie Berg again, the... Um, the guard that was over there, the uh, the Union Navy guy that was over there. Um, and uh, he sort of like nods his head and he says, uh, are you, uh, you're having another one? All right, fella. Who's yeah, your just friend there? Uh, this is, uh, what's your name, Short Stack? I'm just going to look at him. Daggers. Like 74 or something, her name is. This is me old mate. Chaz. Is your name Chaz? We call him Chaz. I literally light the cigarette, waiting for him to open the door. You can't yeah, smoke in here. Outside. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for you to open the door. Isn't that your job? No, it's not my job. I was doing you a favor oh. before. Whose job is it then? Nobody's. I continue to smoke. <laughs> Look, do that outside, okay? I hand the lighter to, uh, to 8900. And I flick it. I'm trying to do it outside. Jazz, I'm trying to do it outside, but you won't open the door. Okay. Look, if this is going to become a regular thing, yeah. you got to get this cleared with, uh, with the general. Who's that? General Rath? General Rath? Yeah. Oh, he, he sounds like a pushover, doesn't he? Sure. Sure he does. It's a joke. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll go and see him after this. Just let us out. We'll have a quick smoke. Knock back in. We'll go and see old ref. All right. Look, just don't, don't be too long outside, okay? Yeah, yeah. Cheers, fella. Immediately, the wall of heat, like, slams into you. It's brutal hot outside. And oh, yeah, the dust, awful, yeah, yeah, by the way. The dust and, and um, atmosphere immediately, like, peppers you. You feel like, you feel like the individual, like, grains of sand, like, sort of being wound up from the blustery atmosphere out there immediately start to, like, smack you in the face yeah. as you head outside. Yeah. Pretty fucking rough out here. I told you he was a doorman. So the this bleak is... planet of uh, Usern is uh, out before you. You can see that it's, uh, you know, a desert kind of planet. It is a breathable atmosphere, but it's not the best. It's 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 got that sort of dusty smell and sort of taste in the air as you talk, you know? If you've ever been, like, in a, in a very dusty and, like, deserty kind of environment, you can even taste it in the air. Um, very, very, very dry. And We're there's... smoking cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing you can do in the desert. Okay, so you guys head outside. So what's your deal anyway? Hey, what do you mean, what's my deal? What's your deal? Well, I'm a pilot. I'm from Nufus. You ever been in Nufus? I've never even heard of it. Yeah, it's a bit of a shithole, to be honest. I'm from Lamelia. It's a massive, grimy shithole of a city. I never want to go back, to be honest. I'm hoping I can make something to this yeah. planet. Ugh. Where are you from? <laughs> if I tell you that, it's not exactly what like we're going to be do. friends, right? Mm, all right, suit yourself. I can guess anyway, probably from some sort of underground fortress. What are you trying to say? Nothing. Sure. Just because you've got a few, you know, Few, few little inches up in the sky in comparison to me, it doesn't mean you can talk down like that and talk to me like I'm from underground. Well, you didn't want to tell me where you were from, you know. Don't worry, I'm not an elf. <laughs> Neither am I. Yeah, I know, but don't dwarves hate elves? It's like the whole thing, isn't it? 
I don't know, what would that hair, to be honest? I mean, you could be from anywhere. It makes sense that you're from, you know, this horrendous place. I guess it's, you know, where old jerks are born, right? Yeah. Well, I didn't dye my hair this way. You know that, right? Who was that? Goop. That goop? What, 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 what was that? Don't know. But I'll tell you what, I had one hell of a fucking cough before I went in that thing. I'm not really surprised. Well, it's gone. So I hope we get to sleep in that. We'll probably live forever. Okay, so it's just more of an excuse to fill your lungs with this hot, hot air. Yeah. Where the fuck are we, by the way? I have no idea. I thought I knew what I'd signed up for. I thought I understood. Has it changed? Is this what you remember? I'm not sure I remember it like this. Out of curiosity, I would have flown here and landed somewhere. Is this like where I landed or whatever? I didn't. Um, Whack, so right? this is a, um, I think the only thing that you've sort of learned about this place is that the Dr. Prism was calling this place, um, Ucern. Um, you, you got this, um, you got the blink gate coordinates. Um, to deliver something here, I think. Um, and beyond that, you have no idea where this place is. But, like, when I came here, I would have had to have landed somewhere. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, you're, where is your ship, is what you're asking. Just, um, I mean, I feel like I would have a general idea of what this planet oh, it, looked like or whatever. Oh, yeah. I mean, you landing on the planet, it's a desert planet. Uh, let's go to this view. Uh, this is what you would have seen from like space um, and you're you're basically parked in this this area that I've got pinned on the map there um, and uh, y y this is where you would have been directed to land uh, so your your ship is parked in in this probably there's there's a hangar like where the mech hangar is there's like a, a ship hangar um, and that's where you're parked right now if that's what you're asking I know I just wanted some info. Mm -hmm. That's kind of all. You don't know where this place is. You got the blink gate coordinates. You come through the blink gate, and there's a planet. Mm -hmm. Because the um, blink gate, the way that the whole blink gate system works is it's a network, right? So you get like an entry point, and then you put in an address similar to like Stargate, um, where you'd be able to get an exit point. So depending on what address you put in, you're going to go through a different gate on your exit point. Yeah, I'll probably stop out my second cigarette and then bang on the door. And uh, I'll be like, maybe we can go and look at my ship. What are you trying to do with that noise? Wake up your soul? What? That noise, that banging. No, that's how we get back in. Oh, yeah. Chaz in there. It's just a bit of... Just a bit uh, arrogant. I don't know right, where I'm Well, starting. you can stand out here if you want. Forever. <sighs> I'm still banging on the door. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's Jazz. And I'm just waiting behind him, rolling my eyes and clearly like looking, looking up at his face. Maybe trying to see through those goggles, trying to work him out, trying to suss him out. Okay. Um, why don't you, uh, let's get a roll here. Um, uh, just roll plus your grit, I think. Who? Hey. This is both of us. No, this is, uh, yeah, this is both. This is both. Both of you. Uh, okay. 19. On your pilot Where? page, uh, at the top left, there's grit and a 17 from Elisa. Um, okay. So he's pretty hard to work out, uh, Elisa. You can't really make out what's going on. By the way, this would be one of those situations where I'd say that uh, you're stoic, but um, I think stoic in a, in a good way. So I would have given you a difficulty, uh, an accuracy on this role. Um, could I also use my uh, my trigger, my investigate? 
investigate research uh, something in great detail. Can I use that on him? I think that that's meant to be for like studious type things. Like, um, let me just check here. Let's see. Let's see what we can use this for. Because I think that's meant to be like looking up information or trying to um, observe a like physical location. I think that there's um, personality, like understanding someone's personality and such is a different okay. trigger, but let's take a look here. Um, historical relevance, well-read on a subject, mystery, or solve a puzzle, locate a person or object through research or investigation. Yeah, I think that's more of a, more of a... Okay like an object that you're trying to okay. kind of try and work out as opposed to a personality. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, he's hard to work out. He's hard to work out. You okay. don't really know what to make of him. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking up at him. I'm narrowing my eyes. I'm trying, I'm not going to get there, but I'm trying and I'm moving because I'm getting more and more agitated because I do not like this. Like, I do not like that. I just don't know what's going on. Like there is definitely this, um, there is, there is definitely this like agitation, this like <sighs> frustration going okay. on. Door mm -hmm. opens. Uh, Charlie lets you back in. What's up, fella? Just, just trying to do my job. Yeah, see? I'm going to have to change out my uh, patrol here in a second. All right. Where's Raf then? Where do we go for that? You want to speak to the general? Yeah, didn't you tell me to go and speak to the general? What's he going to yeah. give me, like, a pass? Let me go in and out the door. You can give it a try. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Can we get some answers? Answers? Yeah. What kind of answers are you looking for? I mean, who died and made you a dick? Me? I just you. let you guys out for a cigarette. Yeah, sure. I see it. I, I, I see that. I see your control. I see what you're about. <laughs> hey, listen. If you don't want to go, then that's not my problem. It's not my problem either. I think it's his. All right. So why don't wait. you guys just head on back to wherever you were going? Then I think yeah, I'm done with you. Wrath. That's where I'll need to know where that is. Yeah. If you want to meet with Wrath, the general, General yeah. Wrath. Yeah. Then you can head down the corridor and follow the signs to Central Control. All right. Central Control. Thanks, Chaz. Just walk away. He shakes his head as he walks away. Uh, can I overtake him? Charlie? Can I overtake Boomsang? Oh, there's no way your tiny little legs can even keep up with my average walking speed. <laughs> get, somewhere, get somewhere fast, please. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm trying to walk too fast, so I don't, okay. don't want to well, necessarily roll sure. or anything. I'm just strolling along, hands behind my back or in my pockets or something, anime style. Okay. Uh, okay. This is the on triggers. Get somewhere fast. Yeah, yeah. So this is. Uh, I think. I think both of you are going to. So hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Let's give you. I got to change these rolls. I think I have to use different buttons. I need to keep what I had originally. Uh, let's do this. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll your get somewhere fast. Uh, okay, that's a 12. And go ahead and roll one accuracy. <laughs> that's a one. Okay, so that's a 13. And, uh, boom slang, Wyatt. Um, uh, you can just roll your grit if you're not using a trigger. 15. <laughs> Yeah, so as you're starting to walk up, you just realize he's just generally a really fast guy, and he's he's outpacing you. 
okay, I'm, I am, I am chasing, I am running, I want to step on his toes, like, I am going, the frustration is boiling, and, like, the breath is, is severe, like, the anger is, is rising at this guy right now, the anger is... Okay, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is, um, roll your grit, and, uh... Hold on, I gotta fix the difficulty because you're volatile right now. I'm gonna invoke your volatility for sure. Hang on, let me just fix the macro. Okay, go ahead and roll one difficulty. So grit and then roll one difficulty. Okay, so you're minusing a three from your grit roll. So an 11. Okay, uh, and let's see, Wyatt. Go ahead and roll me your grit roll. She's coming up and trying to step on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I just like see it coming and step out of the way. She's kind of like, I feel like she's running up like that Ultimate kid. Ultimate anime feet, style. With his little legs. <laughs> like. <laughs> you rush up. She's making all these like huffing noises as she rushes up. Yeah, watch out. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to stop and I'm going to turn around and like the, the shake, like the shake. Um, and if I, can I look around? What can I see? Have we moved down a corridor? Yeah. Um, you guys are, you guys head down the corridor. Uh, think about this place, like what you would expect in like a submarine or like a naval base kind of thing, right? Like it's a lot of like short, like small corridors with branching. Petite, uh, petite rooms. rooms. <laughs> And uh, there's there's like that general like metallic sort of look about the place, right? Like there's a lot of metal, and you guys are stepping on grates and things as you're moving along. Okay. Um. I think uh, I think maybe I stop. I think maybe I stop and I catch my breath. That's what's going on right now. Okay. But the blood is boiling right now. The shakes are real. Okay. I'm leaning down and looking at her like, you all right? I'm absolutely fine. I'm... Go on, you first. Let's what? see what's behind these doors. What do you mean, what's behind what doors? You're so bold. What do you mean, what? Are you all right? I think that green goop has got in your brain. Yeah, well, it's closer to your head with the mop. What can I say? <laughs> uh, At least they'll get you first. I mean, you know. Who's going to get me first? Whoever's there, wherever we're going. You're crazy. You know that, right? I don't think that's true. <laughs> no, crazy <laughs> people don't know it. <gasps> How dare you? How dare you? I turn around and walk away. <laughs> I just kind of like looking for the signs. <laughs> like, That's like, my cue. Yeah, is it spelled with a W or an R, do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> so you walk up to this, uh, you walk up to the area. You can see there's some guards that are in front uh, of w what looks like an office um, kind of room. You, you, you've seen like there's, there's rooms that have an obvious like office vibe and then there's um there's rooms that have hatches and things like that and this is more of an office kind of space there's two guards out front um a man and a woman um and they look at you uh, as you walk closer the woman speaks up and she says help you what yeah i'm here to see general raff do you have an appointment no nah. All right, I'll he's see if he's... He's told me to come down and see him. Understood. Charlie. She hits a button, like, on her collar for some kind of communicator. She says... Uh, excuse me, General Rath? General Rath? Uh, you have some visitors outside, sir. They do not have an appointment. Yes, sir. Understood. Yes. 
Okay, um... What are your names? Wyatt. Wyatt and... Elisa. You can call me Elisa. Yeah, she's a few, uh, bolts short of her. And I, like, immediately stop and look at her. <laughs> and I look back at him, but clearly up. I kind of, like, defend. Yeah, she's a little bit. Okay. We're the new Lancer pilots. Yes, sir. They're claiming to be new Lancer pilots, a Wyatt and an Elisa. Yes, sir. I'll send them right in. Okay. General said he'll see you. You're all right. Thank you very much. I walk past. Yeah. Uh, they stand at attention as you walk past. They've, they clearly have some weapons, like, as well. They have some, like, assault rifles. Okay. <laughs> I just walk past, like, is there a door or whatever? Yeah. yeah. It's an it's elevator. Yeah. It's, it's a door. Okay. Yeah, I go in. Okay. You walk in. Um, inside, there's a, uh, a sort of grizzled looking, um, what you'd expect from an anime general, right? Like this guy, um, is, is he probably a little shorter than you'd, uh, than you'd anticipate, but, um, he has that, like, I've seen too much shit kind of look about him. Um, got a scar on his face, anime yeah. style. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, it's, it's a very plain office. There's no real decoration. There's no like pictures or anything up. It's just like a desk, like some uncomfortable looking chairs and uh, too much like paperwork all over the place. You walk in and he says, uh, he's got his back towards you. You can see he's he's got some kind of like, uh, he's got like a data pad open, glasses on. And you just hear him, like, say, Sit down. Yo. I sit. I, I sit down. Very I put my quick. feet, my boots up on his desk. Make myself at home. Yeah, and I'm, I'm wary. Like, I sat as soon as he said, as soon as he said that, I sat. But I am, I am, I, yeah. But I am wary. I am wary. <laughs> He turns around. Uh, you can see he's got his glasses, you know, just kind of like down on the end of his nose. He's looking at this data pad. He looks at your feet. Walks around the back of the desk where you guys are. He immediately kicks your feet off of his desk. Hey, come on. <laughs> Idiot. Next time you lose the foot. What? What would you cut off a man's foot for being relaxed? Does this look like your home? I don't know. You've had me trapped in a tube for about four years. I didn't have you trapped anywhere. Yeah, well, someone did. I think it's safe to uh, say it's a home when somebody sticks tubes where you stuck them. Did you or did you not sign up for this test? Not this. Of your own volition. Not this. I, didn't know. I thought it was just going to be like, you know, eat this pill and see if it turns your hair green. It did, by the way. How do you feel? Fantastic. You? The same. Just the same. I'm clear. clearly not the same. Just... <laughs> trying to play it cool. Just trying to give nothing. Same. A few years here and there shouldn't be a big deal to any cosmopolitans or anybody these days. You know how long it takes to get from point A to point B, even with the blink gates. Yeah. Look. Dr. Prism made a judgment call. 
And you wouldn't have been safe if he took you out earlier. You're alive and you're feeling fantastic. I think those are two good things. Yeah, not bad. Listen, all I need is a door pass. A door pass. Yeah, that fellow at the front, Charlie, said I have to come down here and see you to get a door pass so he don't have to keep opening and closing the door every time I go out for a smoke. For a smoke. Yeah. What kind of place do you think I'm running here? Don't know, you're a general manager. Is that what you think? Well, that's what I said. General Raff. Manager. Son, I am a general in the Union Naval Department. I command oh, thousands of people. Why have they sent me to you then? Knock you down a peg, I imagine. Yeah, why would you get, why would you give peg. the general of the army or the navy or whatever it is, Space Force, the general management job of handing out door passes? Looks I like don't hand out, out door passes. All right, well, you gotta tell Charlie that. Why are you shouting at me? Shut your damn mouth. All right. Now, look. The two of you got something special inside of you. Oh, yeah, we had something special right up our taxi. You feel better, don't you? Yeah. What? would say that the test worked pretty well all your aches and pains are gone yeah 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 i had a bit of a bad back you know i think i had a dodgy disc i was sat down quite a lot I'm looking at your medical records like, here yeah. you had some pretty severe lung damage according to dr prism well you know i have a smoke here and there he tosses Not the he tosses the data pad at you look it over yeah you can see like it's it's a medical report on your like a before and after medical report and you can see this like you know <laughs> all these like horrible notes about the status of your health like before you went through these tests you had like major problems like you had several organs that should be replaced you know like you were For showing sure. signs of like lung cancer and like it was oh, bad dang, yeah. like you had to get a lot of things changed and uh they have the technology to do that where you can just replace an organ but it's a process and the fact that you guys got shoved in a tube and this fluid kind of ran through you and you had everything happen um, was relatively easy in comparison. Everything was just solved, basically. Um, what about me? Where's my record? Flip the page. He's got it. I'm it snap. I'm snapping. Do I see anything? <laughs> uh, gotta go fast, I think. Can I hold it up above her head? <laughs> really high up. So this is... <laughs> So let's see here. Stand up and like look around. You <laughs> let's see. Gotta go fast and uh yeah. oh, eleven. And let's see, you're rolling as well, Elisa. Um get somewhere fast, I think. Um and, we have the same trigger basically. <laughs> yep. And can I can I roll? The something in detail investigate. That's not fast, is it? Or is it? I think you're trying to beat him. Like he's trying to keep it away from you. Trying to grab it, right? Yeah. So I think it's get somewhere fast. Twenty two. <laughs> okay. So as soon as he like looks down, it's gone. Love it's like you. one of those anime situations where you like you've got something in your hand and then you just like look down and it's just like there's like little smoke trails there. As you're looking through, Elisa, it, it has a medical report on you. And you can see that it, you know, there were, um, 
there wasn't it was a sort of typical medical report for someone your age and you weren't in bad health or anything but there were a few like maybe like a few aches and pains or something that you complained about really basic stuff that were kind of removed you do see on it though that it said something along the lines of um you said uh, high you probably had high blood pressure um and that's been resolved Your blood pressure is normal. Okay. So, m maybe it did, did do something. What now? What now? What are you going to do with this now? How does how does that change your world? Why do, why did we have to be here? Look, it's all very well and good being... The reason <laughs> that we needed test subjects was not only for these aches and pains disappearing... Union, the hegemony in general, as I'm sure you can imagine, is quite large. There's a lot of problems that we have to worry about. One of those problems happens to be the size of the hegemony itself. There's a lot of areas that need to be covered, and frankly, even the size of the hegemony doesn't have enough bodies to actually cover the areas that we need covered. We need pilots. We need lancers. This test, well, it gave you the capability to become lancers. Huh. You are our trial run. And so far, it seems like everything's working. Your speed, your agility, your mental aptitude, they've all been increased. Strength, etc. So, we're the chosen ones. I'm sorry, what? Your test group zero. Yeah, this ain't Lord of the Rings, Gimli. <laughs> Listen, if you're the boss, I just thought you was like head of HR or something. How is it that I can go outside and smoke and come back in? Who do I go and see and get a pass or whatever? I frankly don't give a shit. Okay. So you're saying I can do what I want? I didn't say that at all. You said you don't give a shit. Why do I you? don't give a shit about you smoking. Right, yeah, yeah. But I can't get in and out the door without the doorman getting pissy with me every time. I think you seem to have missed the point. We are the chosen ones. Yeah, also- You wanna go outside and smoke? We gotta deliver that ring to that mountain or whatever. Like I said, grew up in a shithole, became yeah. chief dick. Yeah. Um, Whack, can Alyssa steal this? Can she put it in our pocket? The data pad? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Still the you can data. act unseen or unheard. Her. I love her crazy ass so much. You can <laughs> act unseen or unheard. Sure. A 10. A 10 plus is the general rule of thumb here to beat and succeed on things. So it's not well done, but you do manage to smuggle this thing away. And it's, yeah, it's just like a... Is she on his blind side? Because I'm assuming he definitely has an eye patch. Now, no, this... he doesn't have an eye patch, no. <laughs> is this a moment where we could say she has this, um, shoot, what are they called? We just did them invocations. at the beginning. Yeah, invocation, and we could use that? Yeah, just so absolutely. that I know she, how they're used? Yeah, okay. she doesn't, we've used them a few times now, but um, okay, okay. She, she's, uh, I don't think she has one that applies here. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, yeah, you so just... that went 
that went down my top in an attempt to go somewhere that nobody's gonna go. <laughs> okay. There was like, it was awkward, but somehow you pulled it off. Like that was just barely a pass on the roll. The general kind of uh, looks at the both of you and he says, Now, the professor should have some more things for you to do. If you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Where the hell did I put that pad? Hey, all right. So, uh, listen, about this Lancer piloting thing. You've chosen right, okay? I'm going to be the best fucking pilot you've ever seen. Have my I? words. I didn't do the choosing, son. You were chosen by, well, our NHP. All right, well, I don't care what bands you listen to. What's an NHP? Non-human person. Our AI. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, bloody hell. All right, well then, I suppose you got lucky then. Lucky? You think <sighs> you were chosen for your skills? You were chosen to find out if we could take an average person, apply our, well, apply Dr. Prism's formula and see if we could turn them into Lancer pilots. I've yet to see how well you're going to do. All right. Keep your eyes peeled then. See you later, General. I'll walk out. Um, I'm going to watch between them like ping pong. Like... What's my what's my reception from from the general? Does does he talk to me? Does he or is it just silence? He's looking around like it's obvious. He's looking around for the data pad that he just gave you guys. Like you, you just hear him like getting senile in my old age. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna turn now. I'm gonna turn and follow follow Boomslang, like slink and follow Boomslang. Okay, you guys walk out. Um, everybody else, uh, Geist, Red Panda, Rashman. Um, there's another sort of like cafeteria scene of you guys just stuffing your faces. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> just, I think oh, it's just as good as the last one, if not better. Oh, I'm so glad I switched to paleo. It's so much better than vegan. Uh, yes, yes. It's oh, I, I thought the, the, the vegan was actually quite nice, but I'd be willing to try paleo. Yeah, it's what just whatever. I, tastes I, like? I think paleo is just whatever you can see in your vicinity, just kind of like our early ancestors were hunters and gatherers. Like, whatever you can see, yeah. it, it, that's paleo. I'm paleo. Wait. <laughs> yeah, yes, wait, you are. Paleo. Yeah, Luca's yeah. paleo. Yeah. Look how big Luca is. He's a unit. Well, I'm not going to eat Luca. <laughs> <Absolute> unit. <laughs> <laughs> you get big and strong and I just have like I have the same amount of plates as Luke I'm going all in because I wasn't really trying very hard to keep up <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to keep up but like he's I'm nowhere close <laughs> you're just so full like it's just like every it it's painful to eat at this point <laughs> flying, it's all just... I had was vegan so it's just like the taste of food <laughs> I'm yeah. like, <laughs> anything else but vegan. I'm like, it's so good. I can't stop. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay. Can we finish your nut sauce? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can have one of the. I have too much nut sauce. Do you yeah. think he'd let us take it back to the room? I've already stuffed like five packets of nut sauce in the back. I mean, I'm keeping some for snacks. It is pretty good. It's some, delicious. I'm going to keep some in my mech. <gasps> That's a great idea. Yeah, watch that it doesn't get anywhere. That stuff can like short circuit something a bit. No, I, 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 Are I, you I guys asked done yet? Specifically for a, for a freak, for a small little ice box. I've never yeah. seen anybody eat so much. Ah, uh, don't rush us. We just got done with a victorious battle. I mean, we are the survivors. I think this is owed to us. It's a victory feast. Speaking of survivors, here come the not so survivors. And then? 
Who died? No, no, they're Boom not dead. And... They died in the simulation. Yeah, Wyatt, you and uh, Elisa oh, right. uh, head back to the cafeteria area, I think. Elisa! Hey! I'm so glad that you're not splattered all over a mech windshield in real life. It was really hard to get you off my mech windshield. My wipers were having a tough time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw bits of your hair. Very traumatizing. I'll yeah, probably have nightmares for a month. I'm not even sure what really happened. It was really busy. Traumatizing for you. You, you, were, you were busy just grappling something. And then I also saw Wyatt explode. That was interesting. What, what, what happened, Wyatt? Why did you explode? Yeah. You were bored. What? You got bored? You did that on purpose? It was boring. Put me in the real thing. Oh, oh man. They won't let, us, they won't let us do the real thing until we collectively get an A as a, a. group. What do you, what's an A? It's like a grading system, so. Yeah. Oh, they're bloody grading us. I feel like, yeah. like this is a group project and we've contributed. Yeah. We survived. Like, I got close to a B. I thought we, we were the only ones that they had available. No, there's a lot of other test subjects. You're test group zero. Come on, Wyatt. I really want to get out there. Please. It's the first time I had something better than acting. Um, It's at this point that you all start to feel this like deep exhaustion coming over your bodies. Like it's, it's like bone weary, you know, like the point where it feels like you stayed up way too late and it all comes on at once. Like, oh man. Oh God, is paleo not right for me either? I guess not, cause I feel terrible. Uh, I'm gonna keep eating. I just fall asleep. Can I just <laughs> fall asleep? Bam. Hit the ground? <laughs> yeah. I don't feel so deep. <laughs> so, I like fine. Falling asleep, I just kind of like yeah. You, you just like fall. My face just plants <laughs> into the food. <laughs> it's just super exhausted. Uh, Effie, you just like face plant into your seaweed salad. <laughs> Why right? you and Elisa are just feeling exhausted? Stu, Luca, you guys are I'm so exhausted, tired. But I would like to not look exhausted. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a, uh, let's see, you've got a trigger, I think, an invocation that can help you uh, as opposed to a trigger. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think unfazable. Oh, unfazable. Unfazable. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me a grit roll and then a plus one accuracy. 13 plus four, which is 27. 17. Okay. 17. Okay. You just immediately, like, uh, feel this intense wave of exhaustion, but you're playing it off pretty well. How do you do that? Uh, well, you're all going to sleep then, are you? Now, right here, uh, I suppose if you're all going to go to sleep, I'll have a little nap. <clears throat> immediately fall asleep out of exhaustion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone fall asleep? I'm not asleep. I'm not asleep, but the goggle the goggles are down. It's maybe not right. clear. Okay. Uh Elisa, um, give me a grit roll. Uh well actually hold on. Let me just see if you've got any invocations here that might uh be applicable. Oops, I accidentally hit stop on you. What did I do? Um, okay. Yeah, uh tenacious, I think. Uh so go ahead and give me a grit roll and you get one accuracy for your for your invocations. Wow, 16 plus a three. Oh yeah, you hang on, but it's hard. Like you just feel so tired. Stu, are you trying to stay awake or do you pass out? Well, I kind of like face planted in my food, but uh, I, I guess I'm trying, like I'm trying my hardest to stay awake because I'm still, I still want to eat food. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm still trying to keep up You're with still sleepy. Eight, eight ahead of me. Yeah, <laughs> You're gonna do that. You're going to do, like, the anime protagonist, like, always eating and just, like, sleep eat to get your energy back yeah. instantly? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me a grit roll. Hold on. Let me see. What do you have here that might help you? What invocation do you have? Spandex. <laughs> it's, it's, right. it's too awake. It's conflictive. I, I don't think so. I don't think spandex is helping you. <laughs> spandex always helps. <laughs> It's free and constrictive. <laughs> yes. 
It's like the perfect pants to wear for Thanksgiving or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and give me the uh, grip That's roll. What it is. That's the reason why you can't eat so much. <laughs> oh, God. A nine. Ben XR secretly spanks. <laughs> uh, so you're trying to stay awake you're like you're just still chewing even though your face is on the plate it's just okay. and you just get like a piece of you know a piece of chicken or something stuck in your mouth as you pass out uh elisa i think you're the only one that sort of keeps it together here uh just I think barely Luke is gonna try to stay okay stay awake as well he sees everybody kind of fall uh asleep and he's just really confused but also in like a protective way wants to stay awake and make sure everybody's okay um, okay like maybe maybe at some point like he'll like uh he'll take his napkins like a stack of maybe uh, uh like stew's napkins and then like push it slide it over as he's like yawning and like under and like try to tuck it underneath um uh geist's head just to give her like a little bit of a pillow Oh. Give, me a, uh, give me a grit roll. All right. Uh, I'm also an absolute unit, so um, <laughs> sure. Get a get a one accuracy on that Perfect. as well. I still not entirely sure what that means. Use it that's a natural one. Oh, uh, oh no, that's on the Perfect. accuracy. That's on the accuracy. Okay. So uh, your grit oh. roll is on your pilot page near the top Got left. It. Just click the die. Uh, oh, wow. 18 plus a 1 is a 19. Okay, you keep it together uh, really well. Um, and Luca, again, being an absolute unit. Yeah. <laughs> um, you sort of get everybody. You're definitely wobbly, though. It's still yeah. it's still really, really um, uh, difficult to do. And... Um, you're definitely like both of both you, Elisa, and and you, Luca, are feeling. You know, like that sort of like strange vertigo feeling that you get sometimes. Right. Like you're both feeling that, like very very wobbly. Um, like after and, a twenty four hour. Yeah. <laughs> Where your limbs kind of feel numb. Yeah. Oh. Like trying to get out of bed when you are like unbearably hung over and the floor moves like that kind of yeah are you guys okay i'm fine yes i would like to accept that oscar are you guys okay an a did we get an a i'm fine Rashes will be defeated by the unbeatable power of <laughs> Rash Man. Rash so man. you hear um you hear Polly's voice fade out. And then something strange happens as each of you does fall asleep now. There's this strange sort of whispering that's happening. It's mumbling. You can't really understand what it says, but there's a strange repeating whisper that's happening. And that's where we're going to take our break. I don't speak parcel. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> yeah. Guys, this is so uncomfortable. Okay. That was amazing, by the way, where you so just like <laughs> leaned in and zipped it up like, oh, no idea where your dad <laughs> is. Um, yeah. So good job, everybody. Good job. And let's oh, uh, the break. Let's yes. take a little bit of a break. If you guys have not done so, please make sure you follow all these wonderful people. Please follow these people. And if you have yourself a Twitch Prime or an Amazon Prime that you have not used yet, consider using it on one of these wonderful people. They totally deserve it. Make it happen. 
And in case you haven't noticed, we have ourselves a um, a uh, St. Jude campaign that is running at the bottom of our channel, or you can click on the link that's in the chat there, tablestory.tv slash pledge, where you too can join in on the campaign. If we hit two, $2,000 on the campaign, which we're getting closer to, um, we're going to do a special uh, zigzags uh, show, I believe. And, yes, to uh, give you an idea. Just to give you an idea, the last episode of Zigzags was two and a half hours of Brad just like ripping me a new asshole. It was great. <laughs> also, uh, just so you know, th it will be a minimum eight player game DM <laughs> by Pumpkin Berry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, minimum. What do you mean, Karen? Yeah. Sorry, Karen. And that is what it will say on the overlay. Regardless of anything, it will oh. just say. Oh, I'm sorry. I mixed up the links. The St. Jude link is the, the Tiltify one there. Thank you. I, the the pledge is for our Patreon. My bad. I flipped that by accident. Um, also, check out the Discord because I just posted a meme in there of Colo. <laughs> 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 um, Colo or I'm um, thinking this out right New now. Colo oh, memes. Colo, oh, Colo right. memes. Um, excellent. <laughs> 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 Go check it out on the Discord. We will not. <laughs> Go hang out on the Discord. Um, and uh, we'll be right back in just a few minutes, guys. Stay tuned for more of Table Story Zero Blue Orion as we get anime <laughs> AF in some mecha. Yes! We'll be right back. Stay tuned for more.
Welcome back, everybody, to Table Story Zero Blue Orion. Welcome back. Uh, hello. Hello. Welcome back. We return as um, all of you are passed out, and you start to hear these like strange whispers and things. And then all of you are suddenly seen. Not turn. Sorry. You guys are suddenly in the midst of a firefight. You guys can see cockpit around you. You guys are in a mech. What? All of you. What is going on right now? You can't. <laughs> you can't hear each other, but you see Hello? this. The scenes of a firefight all about explosions all about you. You guys are in mechs, and you can see a, a, a battle unfolding. It's in an urban kind of environment, a landscape um, that is riddled with fire and explosions, and it is a terrifying scene all about you. You can see uh, the signs of... Uh, uh, like a firefight taking place. It is an absolute war zone for sure. Um, there are, um, there's mechs that you can see rushing past and you can see different, um, different fights taking place. Like mechs getting blown apart, riddled by, uh, by bullets and explosions everywhere. It's horrific. It, you are smack dab in the middle of a war. Um, Does this feel like a dream? When you look down, when you kind of like look all around, you can see like your body is not your own. Um, when you look down, these are not your hands. These are not your arms. It's a different, it's a different person. You're all experiencing a different sort of experience. You look down and you see a different person. The cockpit of this mech does not represent the same one that you were experiencing in the simulation. It doesn't look like your mech that you had. Um, this is something different. Um, the instrumentation looks different. It's um, it's a, um, a language that you don't seem to fully understand. You do, but you don't. When you look at it, it half makes sense. You might understand some of the words. Um, the readouts are probably enough for you to tell what's going on. Each of you is engaged in your own fight. And what I would like is for um, each of you to please roll me uh, a different roll. Um, okay. Uh, each of you just roll me your grit roll real quick. Okay. 18. 17. Ooh. Grit? Yep. Weird. Mine didn't pop yet. Okay, 18 from Wyatt, 17 go. from uh, Stu, 21 from Elisa, 21 from Luca, and a 20 uh, from Effie. Um, okay. Um, let's see. I'll look for it. Okay. Uh, Luca. When you look down, you immediately know this is not you because there are no absolute unit hands down there that look down. In fact, you can immediately recognize that you uh, that the hands are feminine looking. You're uh, you're you're obviously a woman. And before you can even sort of take a second to appreciate your situation and what's going on, you see that you are in the middle of a close quarters fight with another mech um it's right up in your face it is uh riddled with bullets already you can see it's taken a lot of damage and um there's explosions that are taking place in the distance as um as the fight is happening you you realize you're maybe like within arm's reach of this mech it's striking out at you with a um with what looks to be like an axe 
Um, I would like you to make a... Mm, make a hulse, uh, an agility save, please. That's on your okay. frame page, and there's an agility text in the second box. Um, you just click the agility text there with the die next to it. All of us? No, this is for you, Luca. It's on the frame page. I was on that page for you already. Oh, thank you. Agility. A 14. Okay. <laughs> this thing swings, and you dodge. You just instinctively grab the, the, the control stick and just dodge out of the way. Even when you speak, you notice that the voice is not your own. It's immediately a, a woman's voice that kind of, like, speaks out. And it's like a grunt as you're thrown, you know, to the side of your mech when you make this fast movement. And there's no inertial dampener or anything in here. Um, the mech swings out and just swings wildly with the axe. You realize now, like, looking down at your instrumentation, that you have yourself, uh, you have yourself, a, like, a... a your own, an axe of your own. Similar. This mech that you're seeing is pretty plain. Um, it looks a lot different than what you might have seen in your current situation. Um, you see it's uh, it's got like uh, very plain kind of lines. Like you guys have the Everest mechs right now that, that you know you're experiencing. You've seen other mechs in your in your life and this this looks like some kind of defense force mech right like a very basic kind of setup here um and you've got some kind of axe in your hand what do you do i uh, swing okay go ahead and make me a um make me a hull check you swing <sighs> And the, uh, the other mech that you're fighting sort of grabs your wrist and sort of twists as you strike. And you, if you automatically hear yourself get, like, locked up um, in the joints and get twisted and thrown to the ground. Immediately, you sort of see your rear view camera as you do like a face plant into the ground. You see the other mech and you feel the other mech stamp with a foot on your back and your rear view camera which is a bit smaller than the other views showcases this mech that's poised to strike at you with its axe again as you're down on the ground and then we switch scenes Elisa when you look around the cockpit you see what is clearly a different person still a woman, um, but maybe the skin color is different, and you just immediately recognize that this is not yourself. Um, and um, you feel a little different. Um, the mech view that you get is a lot different. Um, there's fighting all around you. Um, you see like, uh, you see someone close by, maybe 20 feet away, uh, your instrumentation is telling you, um, and you're just guesstimating. You see someone, um, trying to get out of their mech. Their mech has been shut down, and as they're climbing out of their mech, they're getting out of their hatch. You see all this smoke and stuff pouring up from their mech. As they're trying to climb out of the, the cockpit, you can... You can't hear them screaming, but you can see, like, on their face. They're looking over their shoulder, and they're just kind of, like, yelling for a moment. And then, as you sort of, like, turn your head slightly, you see this sword come from out of nowhere, uh, held by a mech, and plunge right through the center of the cockpit where this person's climbing out from. <laughs> As they are impaled on the sword, falling to the ground, the mech turns towards you. You see it's got this long sword. What do you do? Can I use my stuff on my mech, on my character sheet? Or is this because it's a totally different mech? I can't do anything. It seems to be different. 
When you okay. look around for the familiar controls that you saw in your Everest earlier, you notice that this is all different. You look down and the instrumentation is different. Are you seeing what kind of weapons you have on this mech? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I, I, I want to see. I want to see what I've got. If I've got. If I've got anything. And um, there's there's some there's some shock. I'm um, confused. She was quite panicked. It's quite panicked searching. Yeah. So there's like you're you're uh, some kind of artillery unit. You have uh, various missile racks, and you can see that most of them have been depleted. You have one missile rack that is apparently left right now. Okay. Ray, what do I, what do I do? I don't know this. I don't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna point it at the the thing with the big sword. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, yeah. I wanna... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Give me um, give me an agility roll, please, on your frame page. A five. Um, the controls being unfamiliar. The targeting system is weird. It doesn't really make sense. Um, you're. It's like it's like trying to get on a, a game and it's inverted or something, and you're like used to it not being inverted. If you've ever done that in a video game uh -huh. before, where it's got the natural inversion, and you're like, "What the hell's going on?" It's that kind of situation. Um, you aim, and just the missiles just like. <laughs> They all shoot out, blasting up different chunks of concrete in this urban environment. They just blast upwards, and rubble is just strewn all over the place. You can see various bits of smoke and debris just getting smashed and littering your mech all over the place. Um, by the time the smoke clears, you can see that this other mech has gotten in close to you. You can see the sword is rearing back, and it stabs towards you. Please make another agility save. The sword stabs outward in a similar fashion to what you saw earlier, and everything goes black. We switch to Geist. Um, as you, uh, hear the sounds of the explosions all about you you can see that you're in the like you're sort of somewhat submerged in some water um there's a uh there's like a a truck that's kind of been overturned you've got one arm braced up uh geist that's kind of like holding a, a vehicle in place that you just kind of like toss off um and y you can see, like, there's these warning lights and things that are going off in your mech right now. Um, you can see that it's it's just, it's, it, it, all, all these various warnings are going off. Some of your cameras are covered up, and there's a, um, you can see, like, the, the car just starts to, like, fall into the water. You can see your legs are submerged. Your, your, your readings are showing you that your, your legs are submerged maybe up to your thighs uh, in this water. You're in some kind of, um, like, canal or something um, in this city. Can I tell what kind of mech I'm in? Like, do, do, if I look down, can I see if I'm in a uniform or if I have... Good question. First okay. person to ask. Uh, okay. So, um, go ahead and roll me your grit. And this is a difficulty because you're not the brightest bulb. Right. 19? 19, and give me one difficulty. Uh, three. Okay, so that's a 16. And, um,. Yeah, you look down and you see that there is some kind of uniform. You you don't um, immediately recognize it, but then there's something that kind of like triggers. The scene around you is familiar. It's something that happened a long time ago. Um, several hundred years ago, as a matter of fact. Um, a very famous battle that took place in a... Um, on a on a, a core world, not on cradle, but uh, it took place in the 
Um, doo -doo -doo. Sorry, trying to remember. I can't remember everything. Uh, took place in the uh, Karakin Trade Baronies. Um, this is uh, this is a battle on Caracas. Okay. This was a big deal. This happened a long time ago. And I and know I know this. Or I, I, th I think this, you recognize. There's a okay. landmark that you recognize yeah, okay. probably, like some kind of famous structure on Caracas. Okay. Um, and you're like a little confused because you look down, you see the 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 Karakin trade barony uniform. Um, Did they lose or win? <laughs> oh, they lost. Cool. They lost. Um, as your warning lights are going off, you throw off this vehicle. You feel an immediate jolt behind you. Something rams you uh, from behind. Go ahead and give me your hull save, please, on your frame page of your character sheet. Give me a hull save. Eighteen. Okay. All right. So. Uh, you get hit hard, but you manage to extend a leg and you kind of brace yourself so you don't get knocked over. Uh, your rear view camera shows that there is what appears to be like a, um, a very tanky looking mech. And, um, as you, as you look at it, um, it's, it's got like this, these shotguns kind of built in for arms. Uh, is this like a, is this like a Harrison mech or a Horace mech? Like, do I have to? Oh, you about to get? I I, I would say that you, it it doesn't classify as oh, one okay. of those mechs. This is something. Okay. This is some kind of like basic defense mech. Okay. Um, and it's it just kind of like tried to like ram into you. You know, it's sort of like turned sideways and tried to shoulder to knock you over onto the okay. ground. And what do you do? Um, so what kind of mech am I in? Like what? What, do a, I, what can I do? It's a basic defense mech. Uh, as far as what you have for basic weapons, you can see that you've lost. Uh, you've had some kind of sword and shield uh, combination. Uh, you have hand to hand right now. That's all you have. Oh my god! Your and weapons I... are gone. Your sword and shield is gone. You're you're like badly damaged. And does this feel real to me? It feels or... real. Yeah, it okay. feels real for sure. It's definitely different from a dream. You feel when you get like smashed into the side of the mech, you know, like when your when your harness that has you strapped into the cockpit rubs against your shoulders and such. Okay. Okay. Um. So, do I have like a smoke bomb or anything that I can use since it's just hand to hand now? No. There's a car next to you, like a, a some kind of vehicle, probably some kind of like hover truck or something that's next to you. Okay, I want to... Now, I've never played this before, so you have to tell me if this is possible. I want to... I want to electrocute both our mechs so that we can't move. I want to mobilize the both of us. I don't know if you have that capability, but you can try and grapple it to immobilize it. Like, grab yeah. its legs or something. Okay, we're in water and I'm broken, right? Yeah. Can't I just, like, spark my own... Like, I rip my own arm off and electrocute the both of us, or...? Yeah, what the hell? Uh, okay. Go ahead and give me a hull save. Oh my god. Seven. Seven. You go to try and like rip the arm off of your mech, like just try to grab some circuitry or something, but you're probably like too uncoordinated. The systems are too badly damaged to make that happen. As you go to grab some of the circuits and, and wires and things to plunge them into the water, you get like, maybe you get stuck. Like as you try and rotate your body, your servos get jammed up. And this thing like, turns like rotates its two shotguns aims them towards your back and you see the flash of light and we switch turn off the warning sounds please I'm not that's not me that's okay. you that's me okay his <laughs> middle so, he's getting old there's too many buttons that are lit up on this thing okay <laughs> Okay. Um, so, sixty-four-year-old wank Steven. <laughs> Next, uh, da, 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 Wyatt. Let me on. 
You look down, Wyatt, and you see uh, a different person. Um, the mech is different than what you were experiencing before in your cockpit, and the um, the the warnings are kind of like uh, flashing. Um, you're 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 in a, a partially collapsed building. Um, you're on your back, and you um, there's like a you can see there's like a uh, like some kind of shrapnel protruding that you can see one of your cameras is just static and you can see the shrapnel on your your like main central camera it's pierced through the shoulder of your mech and it's like a it, like a steel beam or something you know like some kind of part of the structure of the building it's just it's poked through your shoulder um and you are you're like on your back basically impaled with this spike through your shoulder um you can see that most of the building has collapsed. Part of the upper floors above you are just raining down debris and, like, furniture and stuff down onto your cameras and things. You just see, like, all these, like, little bits and pieces flying down in front of your cameras. What do you do? This is fine. Um, am I in the same uniform as uh, BB was? <sighs> Uh, you don't know what uniform she was in, but if you look down, you see it's a, it, it's what appears to be, um, it's mostly black. There are red and gold accents on it. Um, and, uh, there's some kind of fluid that's been leaking out from the mech that is spilled. There's a rust color stain that is sort of spread out all across your, um, all across like your your chest and stuff you can see that it's just got um uh you know it's thoroughly dirtied this uniform that you have on would you like to try and see if you recognize it yeah okay uh let's see here give me a, a grit roll um i don't think you've got anything that can help here can I lawyer something outside of my triggers or invocations or not? I don't know. What would you like to try and lawyer? Uh, everyone in my family is in the military. Okay. Um, or was in the military at some point. My dad, my mom. I don't think we're... I don't think that's going to help you here. Okay. I'll roll grip. Give me a grip roll. 18. 18. Okay. Uh... This is a um, this is a uniform that you do recognize. Um, your family is in the military. Um, it's it's a famous kind of uniform, and I don't know if you've recognized what period it's from. Um, but is a it's a, a Karakan trade barony uniform belonging to one of the houses of the uh, Karakan trade baronies. Um, they all, there's like a, a whole bunch of different nobles that are a part of the Karakan trade baronies that have sort of retained their, um, their holdings and whatnot. They're still a part of union, but they have retained these house, um, nobilities and such. And you're, you're a part of one of them. Um, as you look down... You, you sort of, like, recognize the uniform, and I think you put two and two together. This is, like, a famous battle. Um, it's, it's like a one-for-the-history-books kind of battle. Hmm. I don't know. What the fuck is going on? It's a different um, voice that comes out. It's, it's, it's definitely, like, probably a little higher than you're expecting. Um, it's not your voice that comes out. Is that my voice? <laughs> um... <laughs> um, so there's a the the steel beam. Is it supporting the building still above me somewhat? Uh, no, this has already like been I detached. Going to bring the rest of it down? Uh, probably not. And I definitely can't move if I try and move around. You're stuck on this thing. You are impaled on this thing. You're immobilized right now. Hmm. And my the, other arm that's free, I can't grab it and move it. And pull you can it try, out. yeah, can, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. I absolutely. can move my suit. You can still move the rest of yourself. Yeah, you can't yeah, like stand up and and whatnot. Yeah, I'll try and pull the thing out. Okay. Terminator fucking two. Yeah, give me, 
Give me an agility save. <laughs> okay. Uh, two. two. <laughs> you go to, like, grab this thing, but something's wrong with your left arm as you try to grab this. You, you try to grab it, but your arm's, like, not moving right, and you can't get it to make, like, a fist around the, um, around the spike. Like, what does that keep happening? <laughs> Just as you go for the spike and it's moving kind of like awkwardly, the arm isn't quite moving right. Um, you uh, you see through the smoke and the debris, um, there's some there's a mech that's charging forward. It's just rushing forward, and you can see it's making a beeline straight for you. It looks like it's charging at your downed body. Um, please make a. Um, an agility save. Hello, big boy. 14. Okay. So, this thing charges at you, and it's a, it's sort of a thinner mech. Like, it, it, it looks very, like, straight lines, um, sort of boxy looking, um, and it's got, like, a, like a three, um, like a three-toed kind of foot, you know, like two in the front, one in the back, and it's got, like, the inverted legs, you know, the uh, knees. That. And it's just, it's rushing towards you. And you can see it's got some kind of, some kind of um, uh, found object similar to like the spike that you have in your shoulder. And it's just rushing towards you. You turn your body. What do you do to avoid it? So I can't move from the spot or I can You're move You're still around. impaled on this thing, but you can avoid this attack. How do you do it? I'll like, I'll like use the legs to like spin, like pivot on around the thing. Okay. Uh, still impaled, but I'll like turn around on the uh, thing to try and avoid this thing coming at me. Okay, so it just sails past you. The lance plunges right next to your body. It probably makes like a grating metal sound. Like it probably scrapes your paint off on that side of your mech. There's this like horrible grating noise, and uh, the lance just like gets stuck into the into the uh, wall. What do you do? Not today. Uh, do I have a weapon? I don't have anything in my left arm or on my body or anything. You have, uh, you have some kind of uh, what looks to be like a, um, like a a small machine gun kind of weapon. You know, like a, a sidearm machine gun, like an Uzi, that equivalent. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, just spinning around. He lands his shot, and I'm just there, like, boom, what you see? And I'll hit him. Okay. Uh, well, go ahead and give me, um, give me uh, another agility save. I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't know who you're messing with, do ya? Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Just totally lighten this guy up. Close range. You're just firing like point blank into the side of this mech. And you can you can hear like through the communicator just like this. <laughs> and uh, the mech just like you see it like stop. There's just this moment where it just stops in front of you. Everything goes quiet. And we switch scenes. I lived. Suck it. Rest of the crew. Stew. Ooh. Stu, uh, inside your, um, your mech, you look down, you can see that it's a sort of feminine looking shape. You're, you've got boobs. You've got feminine hands. Oh my god, where's my spandex? <laughs> it's no spandex, it's a uniform on you. So, do I think this is a dream? Like, can I, I pinch myself and you I feel, feel it. Everything? You feel it. It hurts. All right. Can I just, so, what's going on? I want to okay. just observe, like, get my surroundings. So, uh, as you, as you look around, um, you can see that you are also in the middle of some kind of fight. There's several mechs that are lined up, like, next to you. You can see that, um... They are, uh, 
they have some kind of like they have like the equivalent of the cyclone pulse rifle right like they're lined up there are some kind of snipers uh they're set up on on you're on some kind of um rampart like it's it's a sort of patched together rampart that's made out of debris um there's sort of like uh, vehicles that are just kind of flipped over to make inter like um, separate sections that you guys are using for cover, and there's a lot of uh, weapons that have been sort of lined up on this rampart to take shots. You're just seeing random like fire being sent out. There's just you know all kinds of explosions all around you. There's impacts on the asphalt and things um, in front of you. Debris just kicking up all over the place. And they're trying to put some tracer rounds on your on your uh, shooting line here, from what you can see. Um, but everybody's lined up. They've got these sort of like BFGs, like trying to fire into the into the into the crowd. Um, there's several mechs that are engaged in like melee combat that are kind of like reasonably far off. You're kind of at an elevated location right now, from what you can see. However. Um, on your sensors, you're getting several pings right now because there is a... There is something locking onto your position. You can see on your screen that there... You see your, like, rampart area all, like, mapped out in a wireframe. You know, like, it's, and you can see your friendly targets that are lined up next to you. You can see you're getting uh, illuminated for a lock-on, and so are they. What do you do? Is there any way for me to communicate to the people around me? Is, is there like a comms link that I can talk to the uh, allies around me? Sure, give it a try. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I am... I'm a lady Stay now! Stay on target! Okay! What's going on? Stay on target! What target?! <laughs> My dogs are freaking out. There's just dogs in the background. They've never heard you speak that high before. It doesn't happen. Your voice doesn't go up to that register. Um, so the uh, someone else here. So so you're you're trying to make a communication, uh, and you you basically hear uh, an explosion up in the air. Please make an agility save. Oh gosh. To get out of the way. Ha! Oh no. Oh, that's a six. That's unfortunate. So, um, as you try to warn them, um, you uh, you're a little too late because there is some kind of uh, uh, like helicopter-like vehicle that is up in the air and it has just launched some missiles down towards you. Um, the in, the explosion is massive, taking out the whole rampart. As you just get launched, the rampart falls all apart. The mechs go everywhere, and you've got horrible alerts and things going off in your cockpit right now. Um, you see smoke. You can see that your screens are cracked. And as you, you look down, you can see your arm has been mangled, and you feel it. It feels horrible. It feels like the stabbing pain in your arm. You can see it's all bloody and horrible. It just it looks like it's all mangled. Your 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 hand is kind of smashed and torn, like your flesh is torn on your arm. My first day being a woman, and my body's already destroyed. Yeah, it feels terrible. What are you doing? You can see oh, now God. as you're you've landed on your back. You can see your cameras are like looking up. You can see this sort of helicopter um, vehicle, uh, sort of like doing strafing runs on the rampart. What are you doing? So, do I have a wep Do I have any weapons on my? Yeah, on my um, you have some kind of you have like a rifle uh, that that you managed to bring with you as you've got smashed from the rampart. I want to take a shot. At the uh, with the copter. Okay, go ahead and make an agility save for me. All right. Let's see, so just roll the same agility dice. Yeah. Alrighty. Do you have any oh! invocations that can help you? 
I can't because one of them is spandex pants and uh, the other one's unshakable ego, and I don't think I'm myself <laughs> anymore. Uh, okay. Let's see. A three. Um, you try to fire the rifle, but uh, you you don't get the aiming right. As you try and, and aim this thing, it's just... It's it's all there's explosions around you. It's it's all going wrong. It's just not working right now. Um, you can see that the helicopter starts to turn its strafing run towards you. Uh oh. And then everything goes dark. <sighs> see, without the spandex, I, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> everything goes dark. Everything goes dark and quiet. Look out! Look out! Get out of the way! You all wake up in bed, cleaned up. You wake up simultaneously with a gasp. <gasps> Aww. Bloody hell. In her, what are happened? In the same room? Oh yeah, we're in the lunchroom you're still, a, right? No, you're in a bed. Oh right, okay, okay. You're in oh. you're in bed. Um, I think you immediately recognize that you're in a barracks. There's kind of like bunk beds. Is you're, in the, bunk bed? you're in the same there's room. Single okay, okay. Beds, right? Or yeah, there's single beds, but they're bunk beds, so they're stacked on top okay. of each other. So there's two each. You guys too? Well, perhaps I had boobs. Something. I was a woman. What happened? I don't know. That was that was like history or something. It all went so quickly. It was. I wish it was, there was a mirror. Was I uh, like a pretty girl? I, I don't know, but I recognize the monument. It, 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 it that was the battle of. I mean, at least for me. What was the battle like? I'm so sorry. The battle of Caracas. I still had my same Arise. hair when I was. What was it? Arise. Me as a woman, or was I a different person? Hmm. I, I don't know what that was, but it felt real. Do we all have the same dream? Were you a woman? I was you guy. I was a I was a lady. You were a lady? What? Yeah. What? What happened? Was that just like a gender bender selves that we just experienced? Is this part of the simulation? Hey, I don't think that was part of the simulation. I don't think that was planned. You, did any of you hear like weird whispering or something? Yeah. Uh, it's like something like some Harry Potter shit going on, like parcel tongue. What? Who's Harry Potter? Oh, you don't know who Harry Potter is? No. Does not exist in this oh. setting for sure. What would be? What would be? <laughs> just a person. <laughs> he's just a great guy. He, he like. <laughs> he's he's yeah, just a random, weird... d random dude. He's the guy from the mess Extra. Hall. <laughs> oh, he was one of the extras. He had like a list problem. He would just always. <laughs> Oh, and oh, he used the rash cream for that, or? No, that's actually a side effect of the rash cream, the early development. He was one of the testers, and it, it caused some issues. Left palate. Yeah. Let's just say it, it, there were a lot of trials to get this rash cream correct. A lot of brave souls winning. Wait a minute. There was testing for the rash cream? Yes, yes, there was testing. I wasn't tested, but there was a significant amount of testing for the rash cream. Okay, well, that's not important Is right now. Is it testing over, or are we now testing the rash cream? Look at your hair. It's green. Is my hair oh, green? No, 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 no you, you. Oh, but who? Maybe so they're saying a test for the rash cream. Oh, it's thank God. I thought you said my hair was green. No, it's, it's still boldly blonde. Yeah, it's it says in the disclaimer in the tiny words it's still under product Boy, development. The taste. Actually, so how does your hair look so good? Like, do you do you not move when you sleep? It looks. I have a regimen. Okay. 
Yeah, I have a very strict regimen, and there is about five pounds of hairspray in this right now. If you were to touch Not it, right now, he's got severe bedhead. Oh. oh, oh, we just we just had this oh, no. experience, and you're concerned about your hair. Yes, it, it's yeah, my image. I'm a big hair, deal. No. I'm sorry if my looks matter a lot to me. It's kind of my job. Disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, why don't you worry about yourself? You don't even. You can't even see my hair. I'm all the way up here. Yeah. So, it. If we all had the same experience, was it the same? Like I, I was, I was uh, half in water, and something shot me with shotguns, and it was a mech I didn't recognize. It wasn't Harrison or Smith Shimano or anything like that. I didn't recognize it. Oh, I. I, I didn't really. I. I, I was it the same dream? Were you guys half in water and? Uh, no, no, I was, uh, I was fighting. I was fighting close, close up with another. And we were, uh, we were, we had some sort of ax or something. And then I uh, go to charge and they, uh, they take my hand. Okay. And they spin it around and step on my back. Were we this, even on the I same see... side? What I... color was your uniform? Uh, I, uh, I was a lady. I was a lady too. There were others, like, I, I had, like, a squad or something. I had, like, others around me when I asked, like, what was going on. Like, I didn't so, really get any answers. Was uh, I a lady? Stu, um, Stu, your uniform was a navy blue and gold. Okay. Um, Effie, uh, you were, you were a lady, um, but, okay. uh, your uniform was, uh, black, gold, and red. Okay. Um, Luca, your uniform was, um, navy blue and gold. Elisa, yours was, um, was black, gold, and red. So, since I knew a little bit about the history here, do I know that those, the, the black and gold and red is the one losing side, and then the navy blue and gold is the, the winning side? Um... The, the the blue and gold were the old colors of Union. Okay. And the were they battle, present in this battle? The battle was actually Union versus the Karakin trade baronies. So my my new, my uniform was red and black and gold. Yeah. Me too. Mine was navy and navy blue and gold. Sort of. Uh, uh, yeah. Me too. Well. That's the union. We weren't even on the same side. Yeah, we I were the baddies. Oh, you guys were the bad guys? We were the good guys? Did we win? I won. I, I mean... I hope it was a dream. In I in lost. history, you, you won. All right. I was a lady and I won. Not bad. I, I don't know what just happened. Oh, how we all had the same dream. I'm kind of scared. I'm terrified. I, I, like, I'm is going to happen again? I don't think I theory. signed up for this. I've worked it out. The green goop. It was made of old pilots and their memories have been pumped into our brains. Oh my God, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Excuse me, what? No, no. We experienced the memories of great pilots. Oh, no. <laughs> Why am I still hungry? The general said that we were just normal people being tested on. That's what the test is. Ed. They're turning us into great pilots by feeding us old pilots. <laughs> Aren't you a pilot? Well, yeah. I am. Aren't you afraid? Apparently not a oh, great oh. one. <laughs> To be honest, I thought it was a dream, so I just kind of did my thing, you know? If I was this, stuck on a wall. If this is gun, true. Shot the guy. If this is true, then I hope you taste great. Well, wait, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, they like, you know... Does that make old, us cannibals? Old pilots. Old dead pilots. I don't think I can put that on my resume. <laughs> we are. But so is doing, like, some sort of now. space Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> I'd be the only one with experience. Who's oh. Hannibal Lecter? I don't know who these people are. 
I don't even know who Harry Potter is. It's just the most plain looking <laughs> extra from one of the horrible, like right, low right grade commercials that you were on. It's just the most normal looking guy, super average person, you know, just the extra. He's He probably has like a decent amount of personal experience because he's been in everything as an extra it's like the 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 wilhelm scream you know he's just there in every background you know he's always an the extra background. oh call harry potter <laughs> yeah. yeah do we all believe him black do you believe wyatt it's up to you yeah totally mm-hmm. up to you I mean, I definitely believe it. Just, it was so real. I'm open to it. <laughs> I watched a show about it once. Uh, what, what happened? I'm believing people. <laughs> What's going to happen to us, Wyatt? Well, in the show, they turned into big, giant, sort of monsters. <laughs> through cities and that. They were the bad guys. Experiments all went wrong. You feel I don't want to be a monster, Wyatt! It's too late. You've already eaten people. <laughs> oh god. I try to I try to comfort him. He's like, Effie is it's alright. We're all people eaters here. I think <laughs> right in that. it's alright. It's alright. That doesn't make us bad people. Even if we were on the bad side. I was on the bad side, yeah. I'm a bad person now. Does it mean you are bad? We're the baddies. We're the baddies. Because you had a bad experience doesn't mean you are bad. Yeah, but you ate people. <laughs> I, I, we don't know that. Mm, well, that's my fear. A hundred percent. I mean, it was just a TV show. I had a lot of time to watch a lot of TV shows. I light a cigarette in the, <laughs> the barracks. <laughs> Your cigarettes are gone. Oh, son of a... Where the fuck am I off cigarettes? Right. <laughs> I'm off out. I get up and leave. Am I clothed? Uh, yeah. You guys are all wearing, um, probably what you were wearing, uh, before, before you, uh, had the... Oh, they didn't even put us in PJs? No. Bastards. Fuck up. That is that fucking general. Uh, well, I'm going back to the mess hall. I think I must have Where are you going? Oh, yeah, I, 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 I'll, take, I'll take along, yeah. Oh, How long? Don't leave me here. Well, you can come along as well if you want, but I am going to be going outside after that. <laughs> Do we know how right long it's day. been? Like, is there like a clock on the wall that we can keep track of time? Yep. Ooh. Yeah, there's a there's a clock. Okay, so did we know the? Did Flanagan know the time before? Uh, like after this, like after we whatever were you want, <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> how okay. many hours has it been? Yeah, how many? Yeah, that's what I'm trying it's to figure out. It's been a full day, like oh, 24 wow. hours, yep. or like 24 hours. hours. Would we know that though, or would we just look at the clock and be like, no, oh, I, it's you been look a couple at the, minutes? You look at the clock, I'm sure there were clocks around oh, okay. when you guys were walking around from before. It's been a full day. Oh, so they're okay. Like a couple minutes or so or before the last time we looked at the clock. Okay. Oh, Holy crap. Uh, no, like it's it's not the same time of the day. I don't think it's been 24 hours. We'll say we'll okay. say it's probably. Uh, you go by Union Standard Time, by the way. Okay. Uh, because there's so many different worlds, you know, Easy. you don't want to have different different times for every world. Um, so it's it's Union Standard Time, and we'll say when you guys went to sleep. It was, um, we'll say that you passed out probably from your best estimation, I'd say around, uh, probably 1700 or 5 PM. Hmm. Um, and you woke up and now it's probably close to 1 PM. Oh God, I missed breakfast and it's lunchtime. Yeah, I'm going to tag along to the cafeteria. But what if it's people? Well, we've already eaten it once. We can't become double cannibal or triple cannibal. Yes, <laughs> Alio. <Yeah. laughs> 
Yeah, it could be. I mean, I mean, uh, technically, it's paleo, as paleo is. If you see it, you eat it. Gone over uh, diet. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna get some food. All right, you leave. I also follow. I'm tagging along. All right, you guys are following Wyatt. Why are you? Where are you headed? And wh- what about uh, you, Elisa and, and Luca? Elisa, are you coming? <laughs> I went to the mess hall. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think I don't think you should be here by yourself. I'm not coming with you. <laughs> Why not? And um, what can I roll to see if I believe him? If you believe him? Yeah. About the oh. Oh, uh, sure. You can you can roll a um. Or baby. Um, you can roll your, I think just a grit roll and, um, I don't think Curious works here to help you. A 21. Okay. Uh, Wyatt, you can make a grit roll. Five. Um. I will state for the record behind the curtain yeah i don't even believe me <laughs> okay <laughs> i was just saying that because i probably did you watch were... a show yeah he's but... full of he's full of shit yeah i don't know what's going on but i also am unfazable so i just said that to... he's, he's full of shit elisa yeah for sure he has no idea what he's talking about fee i'm not following a traitor a traitor <laughs> what do you mean I'm just going to look at him, stare at him, look back at Effie, stare at him again. A traitor. Wyatt, do you know who the traitor is? Well, look, listen, just because I dreamt that I was on a bad guy's side don't mean that I'm actually going to go ahead and join the bloody trade baronies. Do they even still exist? I don't think so. Yeah, they oh, do. Yeah, they do. Are they still bad guys? <laughs> they do. No, they're they're a part of Union. They basically got absorbed no, into Union. Oh. They still have some autonomy. It's like, it's the equivalent of you know the the British royal family kind of thing. You know, like they have they just kind of do whatever they want in the background, and other people pay for it. Um, yep. But they've they've got their own like sector of space. In fact, let's bring you guys over here to the map. Oh, my the bloody map. Um, oh, it's yeah. a big map. It's a big map. Um. Oh wait, let's bring you over here. This is the right music. It did load. It just took a minute. Uh, okay. So, it's gonna be hard to get all of this on the stream. There's a lot of small stuff here, but you guys can see there's um. This is the the sort of general map of the of the union controlled area. So just to give a little bit of a of an explanation of some of these places, um, union is you know is broken up by what are called lines. They are concentric lines that expand as it gets further from cradle. Cradle is the sort of central point of union. Um, in uh, and cradle is earth. It's just earth that has everybody that's living now calls it cradle um, because earth went through an apocalypse that happened thousands and thousands of years ago. Um, And the um, humanity barely hung on. Uh, You know, most of the population was wiped out. About 300,000 or so people were, were left alive and they had to rebuild and it took many thousands of years to get where you are today but that's why these pop culture references don't make any sense because it's about 11,000 years plus from from our current time um, and uh, the further you get out from Cradle the uh, the less control that Union has the further apart the blink gates are um and um, the more sort of colony worlds you'll encounter, the closer you are to Cradle, the more core worlds there are. 
Um, and core worlds have a lot of stability. They're sort of like that utopian sort of lifestyle. And um, the, uh, the, um, the different lines are how Union classify the different areas. The Karakin Trade Baronies and the Harrison Armory are the sort of largest holders of, of space, right? Like they're the sort of largest um, sort of dominions in Union. Um, and out by the Boundary Garden, um, I would say it's mostly common knowledge that there's a, a war that's going on um, between the Aonic Ascendancy and Union. And it's a lot of unknowns that happen uh, out in the Boundary Garden. The Anamite line is kind of like the frontier kind of area um, of Union, that, that very far line. Um, but traveling through Blink Gates, traveling through that Blink Space network, you guys can go to any other Blink Gate almost instantly. Um, so we really have no idea where in this we are. No, you have we no took a idea. Blink yeah, okay. You have absolutely no idea where where you okay. is. Um okay. but yeah. That's kind of that's kind of where you're at. So the Karakin trade bounties are that purple area there. But they own they control a, a fair amount of, of union space. The second the like the second highest um, out of out of the uh, various corporo states, like Harrison Army, Smith Shimano, IPS North Star, um, and uh, like th those three corporo states, they own like a a fair amount of property and they control like swaths of area. Smith Shimano are kind of a bit like um, a bit nomadic, like they control a lot of different space throughout the Sierra Madre line. Um, but yeah, those are the general territories. So that's what you're looking at. You, you, this is kind of general knowledge. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so what's everybody yeah. doing? If she doesn't come with me, um, I will leave with them. If they're like leaving and not waiting for her, then I'll just follow. Okay. Hesitantly though, I, I look back at her like, please come with me. And when I can tell she's not gonna come with, I just go. Okay. Am I am I the only one who stayed back? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Have I if I've got the same clothes on, do I still have the The data pad? Mm-hmm. Data pad's gone. Okay, so I'm I'm looking for it. I'm watching Effie walk away, and I'm looking for it. I, I like searching everywhere, like searching the bed, like te like throwing everything apart, like getting slowly getting more and more angry, like searching for it. Yeah. Go ahead and give me a roll. Let's see. Uh, give me your. You can do an investigate, I guess, for this. And you'll get a uh, plus... You'll get an accuracy as well, because you are curious. And tenacious. Oh, yeah. And, and small. Can she use both? Yep. Lower to the ground in case it's under one of the bunk beds. So rude. Oh. Am I doing accuracy one? one ac or ac accuracy <laughs> one. Oh, an 18. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just, it's on, like, there's, there's probably, like, some kind of dresser or something. It's just on the dresser. Is it different? No, it's the same one. So, and there's, like, nothing noticeable, different, it's, it's exactly the same as I yeah. had it before. Okay. Um... Yeah, okay, there's, there's relief. There's, there's big, huge, like, more than is 
more than is is kind of anticipated like it's, it's over the top big relief like huge relief maybe even slightly on the verge of like crying like a breakdown that's how that's the significant relief like yeah it's big like she's lost the plot like gone okay fair enough you guys walk off Uh, I think that's a good place for us to end today fuck you know we should leave old Hermione fruitcake in there (laughs) (laughs) I say as I leave (laughs) (laughs) who's Hermione (laughs) another extra half the joke yeah Yeah. you're welcome take fruitcake What's a fruitcake? Someone say fruitcake? What is a fruitcake? Can we eat it with nut sauce? (laughs) You can eat everything with nut sauce. Everything. Even (laughs) dead pilots. Every time they bring up nut sauce, Flanagan just kind of... He knows something. (sighs) That that's... He just like always gets a little nervous. But he knows something. Okay. So... Good session, everybody. Went fast. Went fast Oof, today. Yeah. Went fast. That's um, great. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Um, What's gonna happen? We'll yeah. See. What is happening? We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We had a little bit more story today. Are we doing our uh, changes to our whatever they're called the at the end of this session or beginning? What would you like to do? Would you guys like to do them at the end of the sessions or the beginning? I think the and, end because it may like I it's fresh in my mind now and I can say okay you know Colo's character would be klepto or something because she yeah, she stole something paranoid yeah yes yeah. Yeah. or insane <laughs> I don't know okay so let's do uh, let's do Elisa's first you got voted in so uh, <laughs> let's let's clear these out first let's do uh, paranoid for one of them for the for a negative. What else? Some of them could stay. Can st- some of them stay? Or does it have to be fresh invocations, invocations every week? Um, you can do the same one, but I'm just clearing okay. them out for the sake of just trying to, to cool. do something Called different. Called obsessive compulsive disorder, Wang Steven. <laughs> um, I like, well, I think, you know, sleight of hand or thievery or something should be added. Uh, yeah. Sneaky as a spider or something like that. Uh, I would like, I would like that. Sneaky. Yeah. Sticky fingers. Yeah, sneaky. Sticky fingers? Yeah. That positive. Well, that not <laughs> That's <a> positive. <laughs> I yeah. want there it. you go. Yeah, that'd be a bummer. What else? Um, I think she should keep the one. Didn't she have one that was like, I'm... Volatile? Volatile. Yeah, I think she should keep that one. Okay. Yep. Volatile. What about a positive? I don't remember what the ones were before, to be honest. Uh, we, I think we should keep Tenacious. I think that still holds true. Tenacious? Yeah. She's still very determined, yeah. Okay. Who wants to go next? I will. Okay, Luca. I have one. Yes? <laughs> protective. Who's very, like, sweet to the whole party. Very protective. Fatherly instincts or something. Fatherly instincts, yeah, for sure. Okay. Papa Luca. <laughs> okay. Cool. Papa Luca. <laughs> oh, I love it. Papa Luca. Oh, you're <laughs> okay, what else? Um. Unit times two. Every yeah. time you read, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Every visit love to it. the mess hall increases his level. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's ten. That's our home base. After every mission, we just <laughs> like we go to the mess hall. The mess hall would just uh, unit times two. All right, we're doing that. Okay. Okay. Uh, times two. Every time he eats a full meal. <laughs> what about two negatives? Gosh, unit still, times I just know. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't any? It's also a negative. Yeah, He's right. incredibly overweight now. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that like anime distended belly that oh. happens you know that yeah. magically yeah. just goes away like after you could do, like insatiable hunger or something as a negative look like that dude from uh full metal the one who's with the dreaded woman the side effect yeah. of the uh of the of the 
the habitation is the is the <gasps> starvation and the hunger is the constant insatiable hunger that he has. Um, take all those snacks oh. with him. Yeah. Do we all need to add cannibal? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'll, I th here's one I think I'm gonna add. I'm gonna say, um. I'm gonna say probably keeps to himself. Yeah, he hasn't yeah, really told you guys that. anything. Mm. Very true. He's just been he's just been kind of there and helping. Yep. Okay, and let's see another negative. Um, I'm just gonna say always hungry. Yeah, always hungry. Okay, next, Brad. Hello there. Um, uh, unfaceable stoic, stoic addicted. Um, I don't know. I, don't I know. suspect you're no longer addicted, though, as we just learned throughout today's episode. Well, that it cured me of being. I think addicted. so. Yeah, I think so. Then I powered through an entire pack of smokes. So I've really addicted myself. That's how unbelievably addictive cigarettes are. They're made with heroin in the future. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> addicted to black tar heroin um addictive personality <laughs> um i don't know i don't know what would change really rude. Pretty, pretty rude. Let's, let's change a stoic rude. to a rude you, you attacked me <laughs> <laughs> you were pretty rude to the dude though too you put your feet up on his desk and you're oh, yeah. kind of yeah. like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe right. disrespectful? Negative. Maybe. Yeah. I would say disrespectful. Disrespectful or like ignorant? Like you just weren't even aware that it was an issue. You're just kind of like, what? I think rude works. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I am aware. Yeah. Well, you did make works. up a story that we all ate people and traumatized <laughs> Jeffy. <laughs> traumatized me. On purpose, yeah. yeah. <laughs> On purpose. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah you I, are. I, it's more You're like, malicious. I think it's more like antisocial because it's uh, it stems from a place where I've spent a long time alone. Antisocial. Okay. I think any social is probably better. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know if anything keeping, else changes. Keeping unfazable and stoic. I'm. Pr I feel like I'm pretty motivated after I won my fight in the mech. Um. So I don't know if that. Would you say motivated? Motivated or confident or something? Like. Let's change unfazable then. I think. So yeah, motivated. Okay. I'm a lot more, being the same sort of thing. Definitely a lot more motivated as well because they said that we have to get an A to get into a real mech actually. So probably mm -hmm. something along those lines. I'm actually on 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 squad now. Okay. I want to on squad win. Alright. Stu. Alright. Fist, it's your turn. I cannot part with spandex. Spandex. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you never They're can. painted on. They are tattooed on your body. <laughs> um, but let's see. Uh, well, I mean, after the flashback, becoming a woman, and then also finding out that I was on the winning side. Uh, so, it, so like, a lot is happening that Stu doesn't understand. I guess that kind of goes with his blissful ignorance. I guess we could change unshakable ego and feel like things are working out even though I don't understand what's going on I'm just kind of like yeah it'll work out for the better like everything's gonna be fine like I even kind of brushed off the fact like oh well I ate people I mean I did I did it let's change it to C minus let's yeah. change it to C minus C minus C minus it's like eh <laughs> It works. C it's minus. Great. Passing grade. <laughs> Passing <laughs> grade. Um, okay. Any, anything else? Well, we've got confident to a fault and face meets wall as the negatives. Anything else changing? Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm still very confident myself. I think they're all pretty still accurate. Yeah. I don't think really. C's get degrees. I've never heard that one before. That's a good one. It's really good. Boom. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, let's keep it then. Uh, yeah, I think everything's pretty good. Go on. Effie. Pretty well. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's so good. She She's does believe she's really eating people. Gullible. I do. I'm super gullible, yeah. so that's staying, yeah. I think. Yeah, for sure. Um, 
I don't know. You got I think unbreakably positive marksman, gullible, not the brightest bulb. Eight people. <laughs> Eight. Oh, as far as I think somebody put in the chat, cannibals guilt. <laughs> so yeah. Cannibals yeah. Guilt. <gasps> Actually, I like that a lot. I mean, if it's can just change... one episode. Yeah. Might... Can we change the brightest, not the brightest bulb? Because yeah. I did try to puzzle solve there. Like I was like, oh, the the suit and the whatever. So we'll change that to guilty. You were a bright bulb this time. Yeah. I tried really hard. I tried really hard not to be. Okay, guilty. Like, be a, light, like a light bulb. Yeah. Alrighty, anything else changing? No, I think I like the rest of them. Gullible. Marksman. Uh, what about Marksman? Do we want to keep that after today's episode? You didn't really do any fighting. No, I didn't. I did. I get my. I got my ass kicked. Could we change Marksman to... Uh, did I convince anybody to do anything? I, think, why, I did. Why don't I did. Some, I convince you. What about the, I, something history related? Because you did remember mm -hmm. that battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do. We could do that. historian. Yeah, historian. We could do that. A historian. Plus historian. Oh. <laughs> what yeah, is it? We could do that, or we could A do um, like convincing. Because I convinced Wyatt to try hard. Because so I was like, please, Wyatt, please. Historian, like let's, let's change touch. unbreakable positivity to um, convincing. Yeah, let's change it to convincing. Okay. Okay. Works for me. Alrighty. Um, so I think what we used, to, what we did in our mask show is we usually uh, we'll change this for next week. But next, the last, the 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 show that we did before with a this a similar kind of thing is we we did like our outros and then we did that. I think we'll do that next week. Um, but we'll just do like our invocations with our outro. So we'll just follow along. Oh, okay. As we do our outro. Um, okay. But yeah, let's do our outros. Uh, PB, why don't yes. you? Hello, hi, I'm Pumpkinberry. Uh, you can find me at Twitch and Twitter at Pumpkinberry. You should check out my Twitter because I have a new terracotta pizza oven. His name is Blobkin Hotfins and he's adorable. And you can find that on Twitter. And I do stuff and things, but I'll be here tomorrow for Darkfire where I play an elf, a crazy elf, yes. And Brad, Brad GMs that. And then I'm here again on Wednesday where I GM a horror thriller show um, called Nocturne to come for those things. Awesome. Thank you. Myth? Hello, I'm Myth. Uh, I, you can find me on all things Mythomatic. Uh, had a blast today. Thank you so much. Uh, if you guys want to discuss or talk about it, just DM me. Uh, but yeah, I will be on... Throughout the week over on my channel, uh, probably going to be testing a lot of ESO this week, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But thank you. Blast, as always. Can't wait for next week. Thank you so much, Myth. Colo? Hi, I'm Colo. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitch. Uh, hello, it's Colo. Hello, it's Colo. Um, I get and I have a, a variety streamer. I really like space and open world adventures and uh, like stories. I love getting lost in a story. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I feel like I'm kind of, it's the first time I've done anything like this. So I feel like I'm kind of starting to understand a little bit. So thank you again for asking me guys. I think you did awesome. Nice. This was this was great. You did super well. You're like, a, you. like a pro already. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Fist. Hi, I'm Fist of the Walrus, and this is quickly becoming one of my favorite things. Like, I look forward to this now. It's like every Monday. It's really awesome to be uh, part of the group. Uh, you can find me, uh, Fist of the Walrus, on Twitch, Twitter, and uh, currently I'm doing some roleplay on Twitch RP's GTA server. Uh, so you can check me out there and want to do my crazy shenanigans of playing. Who's your character? Tony Spumoni. He is. <laughs> Is a psychopathic. It's progressively worse as I as tuned in and I life. saw you wearing a, a tie and you were half naked. And yeah, the tie a, was going through your neck. There, <laughs> there's a story to that too. He is like levels of an, of insanity. And like the more clothing he gets, like he calls it his alpha levels. So he's, <laughs> he's on level three right now. We'll see where it goes from there. Amazing. But, a pleasure to be on the show. Uh, I'm so excited for the next episode. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you, man. You did awesome. Brad. Hello there. It's me, Brad. Um, Damn, I was hoping for Karen. 
Karen. Oh my god, it's me, Karen. Nice to see you. Um, you can follow me at twitch.tv forward slash pumpkinberry, where I just sit and talk about myself like endlessly. It's awesome. It's like my favorite time. Um <laughs> you uh no, you can see me tomorrow here, Dark Fire. It's a D D show, PB's in it, uh Wax in it. Got a couple other people, I can't remember their names. Um and uh it's all kicking off is this do all of our shows have like body switching time traveling weird stuff going on now are we are we are we gearing up for some sort of massive table story crossover it's time for the end game they're all getting weird uh and uh yeah dark is heading into the end game so it's getting a little bit weird as well so please tune in for that other than that don't worry about it. I'll see you next uh, See you next Monday. Thank you, Brad. I'm Wax Steven. I have been your GM of Doom. Thank you guys so much for watching as I drag the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, big thanks to you guys, chat. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for hanging out. Thank you for participating. Thank you for the love. Thank you for your for your wonderful nut sauce. We appreciate you. Um, if you if you go onto the Discord, we've also got uh, I added the the uh, the nuts. We got we got story nut on the Discord as well because we got we got plenty of emote slots on the Discord. So what the hell? Let's put it up there. Um, right. <laughs> so we okay. got that. We got the combo on Calm the Discord. J bro um, Tato. See. Not many people understand that, but Jay Broto likes to send nut pics to people. I'll just leave it at that. Freak. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as always, chat, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for, for being here. Uh, thank you for the love. Um, thank you for participating, and uh, we appreciate you. Thank you to Brad. Thank you, Fist. Thank you, Colo. Thank you, Myth. Thank you, PB, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I had a blast. Uh, the time went way too fast today. I, like, blinked, and I was like, well, we're out of time. <laughs> it's like, okay, we're, we're out of time. Where the that hell did it go? Fast. Um, it just that it goes. Is the question. It goes fast. It goes fast. Where the hell did we go? Um, but if you guys like what you saw, uh, please make sure you follow all these wonderful people. Please follow this channel as well and turn on notifications so you know when we go live with our shows. Turn those on. Um, and if you have yourself a Twitch Prime or an Amazon Prime that you have not used yet, consider throwing it their way. Through, give, give some love to these uh, to these people. Make it happen. Um, and if you want to help support Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is to head on over to our Patreon. Um, we've got stuff from Zero Blue Orion on there, including wallpapers, uh, mobile wallpapers with various characters on them. Um, we've got character sheets up there. Uh, I'll try and keep those updated, by the way, um, when we get new levels. Um, but I'm going to have to actually get the players to participate with that, which is the hardest thing in the universe. And the then... answer is already no. <laughs> um, and uh, I will uh, I'll let you guys uh, know when we get any other new stuff. Um, so thank you so much for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you uh, hopefully for Darkfire tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. Peace out. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. And keep yourselves anime AF. Fuck. Hell yeah. <laughs>